All right, guys. So um, real quick uh, recap of last week, because last week was a lot of just exploring different rooms. Um, the the highlights really are that Hagrid found information pertaining to some sort of teleporter down in the basement of the castle, as well as the secret word for that. Um, Leavin found out that Boragamanthar, the adult black dragon that claims the mirror is his dominion, uh, has a twin brother named Werverender. Uh, and Tony got almost drowned by a giant hentai tentacle monster. Um, the party found a lot of uh, items last session. Last session was basically like, hey, what's in this chest? Oh, there's all this stuff in this chest. And uh, a lot of that has been divvied up already, but some stuff was being held onto for uh, Tyrannus and... Um, Crispin. Uh, speaking of Tyrannus, uh, as you guys wrap up your uh, battle with the Atiok and get the tentacle guts off of you and you know peel the garbage off of your clothes, uh, you hear uh, Tyrannus uh, coming up from behind you guys. Um, at this point, uh, it should be noted that Tyrannus has a uh, small tanker um, with a uh, uh, hot coffee beverage. Uh, he just comes in, walks past. He's like, "Oh, hey guys!" He found us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, the the lizard folk uh, did their thing. Uh, yeah, that uh, play some drums, a little bit of fifes. Let me tell you something. Being a general of an army, pretty damn cool. I think you're more like a mascot. Okay, how do you spell mascot? Um, here, I think it's in this book. And I want to hand over the Gnomish Book of Husbandry to Tyrannus and the Pipes of Haunting. Uh, Tyrannus, uh, Tony hands you a book written in Gnomish. Uh, the book is about, like he said, uh, Gnomish hu husbandry. So how to be a good gnome. Okay, I got it. <laughs> And I hand him the Pipes of Haunting. Yeah, the Pipes of Haunting. Um, um, Tyrannus, you and I talked a bit about those outside of the game. Um, the Pipes of Haunting require the user to be proficient in wind instruments, uh, which Tyrannus is not. Um, however, should you choose to sell them or whatever, I can give you the gold value for that when, when we get there. You'll probably learn, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey. Figured the book could teach him. It's husbandry. Do you even know what husbandry is? Nope. I think he's trying to tell you something. <laughs> you need to practice your skin flute, man. It's the uh, weirdest marriage proposal I've ever heard. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm not proficient in skin or wind instruments. All right, um, Hagrid has uh, joined the chat. Hagrid, all you missed so far was uh, the recap of uh, last week and uh, Tony giving Tyrannus the book on gnomish husbandry and the pipes of haunting that you guys found last... Uh, well, I guess it wasn't last week, two weeks ago. All right. So, should we venture up the stairs now that that thing is dead? Can I loot its corpse first? You can do whatever you want. Uh, its corpse is um, uh, pretty deep in the water there, Tony. You have to dive down to try to find it. Nope, I'm good on that. Up Are you sure? We go. Hagrid, can you, uh, can you hear us now? Yeah, I think you, I can see that it might be all my issues. Sorry? Uh, nothing. Technology sucks. Oh. <laughs> uh, so far, all you've missed, really, is uh, the recap from last week. Or two weeks ago, I mean. Nothing special. Um, but it sounds like you guys want to head upstairs? Yes. Okay. That is... Okay. All right. I need to 
to grab tokens. Cool. As in you guys I need to grab you guys. Feel this and then bring you guys up. Okay. So you guys are in the top left corner of the map. I see me. I see fuzziness. Yeah, I had to do the uh, the zoom thing. Um, all right, so the uh, the second level of the northwest tower is in bad shape. There are large holes where the floorboards have completely rotted away or fallen into the muck below, mm -hmm. and the floorboards that remain are unlikely to support a human's weight. The beams are still strong, but they're slick with fungus and mold. Um, across the tower, up against the south wall, is a simple locked trunk. Um, I vote for trying to get to the trunk. Well, I'm certain our Goliath friend is uh, definitely going to fall through if we try to send him. I'm going for it. Alright, Tony, you need to uh, make a dexterity check to reach across. Um, will a 23 work for you? Uh, yeah, oh. a 23 will. Alright, and I'd like to try and rip open the trunk. Uh, the trunk is locked. Okay, then I'd like to try and break the lock. Uh, okay, go ahead and make a strength check. Perhaps you should check for traps first. Never. Uh, 14. 14. Um, you hit the uh, uh, chest with your um, your great axe, and the chest teeters on the edge of the uh, beam, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't fall nor does it open. Mm -hmm. But it's very close to. It's like sort of like tipping and kind of doing that like. Tony, Car on the edge of pick it up. Thing. How much yeah, does just he pick have? it up and drop it and let gravity do the work for you? Well, there's don't trash drop below it. Us. Yeah, How you don't want to get it in the trash soup. Just pick just it up. It. Well, how do we get up here? Just throw it downstairs. I want to pick us. it up and throw it over here. Lay down. Where's over here? Right there. Um. Okay. Go ahead and make a strength check. Uh. Total of twenty. Total of 20. Um, okay, so you throw the chest. Um, or you, you're able to pick up the chest, and you throw it, and it hits the floor and falls through a rotted floorboard down, and you hear, after a couple seconds, boop. Good one. Well, damn it. You're swimming after that. Nope. Keep going upstairs. I we killed the creature. <laughs> I don't know how deep that water is. You're going to find out. Why doesn't somebody oh, transmute yeah. themselves into some kind of sea creature and go get it? Uh, because you threw fun. it. <laughs> this is where we start teaching you, Tony, that actions have consequences. Yep, I just lost a chest. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> Wait, was that Tyrannus talking about learning lessons? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I am a well-respected lizard man general right now. And, Mascot. Uh, <laughs> hey, at least my soldiers survived where I led them. So you say. Yeah, I haven't seen a living soul since that was a lizard folk since you got away from us. And other than a paladin, I haven't seen a single goliath follow your lead. That's because we're not with my people. I wonder why. Where are we on this? Top left corner again. Ah, there we go. It wasn't loading for me. He with the ice statues. Um, so the statues of ghosts. Uh, go, guys, go ahead and make a history check. A history check. Yeah. Hmm. Twenty-one. Eight. Seven. Sixteen. Did you say seven, Hagrid? Yes. Okay. 
Um, Tyrannus and Leavin, you guys remember uh, that um, a little bit of history about Castle Neratar. Several years after the builder and its owner abandoned Castle Neratar, the castle was reoccupied by an all-female school of astrologers called the Academy of Stargazers. A few years after the astrologers moved in, they were wiped out by their own leader. Um, several of the castle's residents were murdered in this topmost room of the Northwest Tower in a particularly hideous fashion. Uh, from what you guys can see, they never really left. Hmm. So are they... Is it more based off of what I can see them being ghosts or more like revenants? Um... Go ahead and make a uh, make a history check again. Eight. Um, they're pretty see through. <laughs> Do I uh, sense evil with my divine sense? Um, it's a great question. Evil or good? Oh. You detect apathy. That's what you detect. Um, you do detect evil. These are angered spirits. Oh. But angry at us? They're just angry. They were brutally murdered. <laughs> what if, I mean, you gotta be angry at everybody? Are there more steps going up further than this level? Uh, nope, this is the very top. Um, also, guys... Oh, I forgot to turn the music on. Um, go ahead and roll uh, initiative as the uh, specters uh, see you guys... Or hear you guys coming up the stairs. They uh, they start to turn and you see their their faces that were once, you know, um, light female faces turn into these grotesque caricatures of, of a human's face. I rolled like 20. Do we need to roll initiative if we run? Afraid of ghosts? <laughs> I'm afraid of no ghosts. I'm pretty sure my sword isn't going to do anything to them. But you are I'm holy. At this point, I just put my hands on everybody's like, hold on. I got you, fam. Feel like they could go through the floor and just chase us. Quicker than we could run. Good point. All right. Um, I have an adjusted twenty-one for initiative. Let's see if uh, you're keeping track. Okay. Um. Give me just a sec, guys. Uh, I need to uh, roll, but also I turn on some music. Maybe wow. I should use that oil of etherealness, and then they'll think I'm one of them. <laughs> Or we'll um, just fuck you up on the other plane and you'll die there. That's things true. on the material plane can't interact with things on the ethereal plane. Um, well, if and if you use the oil of ethereal, you essentially disappear from this plane. How do we know they're not in between planes and on the plane he's going to? How do you know, period, barbarian? <laughs> um, Alright, guys. So, um, 20 to 25. 20. 21. All right, uh, 15 to 20. 17. 10 to 15. 10. Okay, uh, Hagrid, you will be up first. I will say, Hagrid, since it's been a couple of weeks, um, in case you forgot, the uh, trident that you received is, in fact, a magical weapon. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Okay. I guess since this is inevitable anyway. 
Uh, and there appears to be uh, one of the uh, emanations in front of me. I guess I will uh, pull out said trident and attempt to attack that. Okay. Ethereal fiend. Um, I didn't write down any of the information on that, though. I have it on my phone. Okay. Um, I, I, phone. Let me pull it up real quick. Um, it's going to be the same attack bonus, I believe, as your, uh, as your longsword would be, because you're proficient with it. Okay. And I assume it does piercing damage? Uh, yes. If I'm... Do I have the option to swing it like a sword? Uh, I suppose. Or, or can I only, like, stab violently with it? Um, I think it's mostly violent stabbing. Okay. Well, a 26 hit. A 26 will hit. Uh, do you, if you still got the information up, what, uh dice do I use? Uh, it's yeah. a 1d6. One, one 6? Six. Six? That's yeah. crap. <laughs> and then the um, magic effect is for which aspect of the weapon? Uh, the, the magical part of it is that it can um, it can it has a it has a um, like a spell that it can cast. It won't affect these guys, but because of the fact that it is magical, it doesn't... Um, the specters don't have damage uh, resistance to it. But it is a plus weapon, though, right? Doesn't that get added into... It, it doesn't have a... It doesn't have a... It's not a plus one weapon. It's just, it is oh, magical. Magical, okay. All right. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I would assume that that would be seven piercing. Yeah, it's it's still plus your uh, plus your strength, right? So the roll plus your strength. Okay, okay. Seven piercing. Extra attack. And from my extra attack, I will try again. I guess. Okay. Uh, well, a sixteen hit. Yes. Five more. All right. Um, is that it for your turn, Hagrid? Yes. Okay. Tyrannus, you're up. All right. Tyrannus is going to move to the center of the room. Once I regain ability control of Tyrannus. So he'll be moving. Why is my screen locked? Uh, oh, it's because I made a real big fuck up. There we go. So he's moving <laughs> to the center of the room. He's okay. pulling out a white hen's feather. He's going to cast Fear at level 3, and that will affect all of the specters. And I'm going to have him turn into what appears to be a giant version of what killed the specters. So each specter needs to make a DC 16 wisdom saving throw, or drop anything they're holding and become frightened. Okay. <clears throat> Their wisdom. Not great. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to start down here. And I'm going to work okay. my way clockwise around the tower. Uh, that one passed. Second one did not. Third one did not. Fourth did not. Fifth did. And the last one does not. So I've got the bottom corners, bottom left, bottom right, were the ones that saved. Yeah, I'm going to mark the ones that uh, didn't uh, make their... Or I'm going to mark the ones that are afraid. Okay. 
they're they have that weird little bleeding eye looking thing on them. Okay, so the bleeding eye ones are under the effect of the fear spell right now. All right. And then I'm going to turn to Tony Pobar and then sit there uh, and say, as your commanding officer, I compel you to attack in order to give him an inspiration die. Hmm. Is this a field promotion? I wasn't aware of this. Uh, Self-appointed <laughs> field promotion. And that ends my turn. So you haven't woke so you haven't woken up from your dream yet, is what you're telling us. Nope. <laughs> Don't mind right. him. He's a little drunk. Um, Tony, you're up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to lend Hagrid a hand by moving right here. Then I'm going to put myself into a rage, and I'm going to recklessly try and smash a ghost. Okay. Do you... I can butt in. Did we get a rest or no? No. No. How about a 24? Uh, 24 will hit. Okay. And that is... That. And that. Um, 15 slashing plus 2 fire. Okay. Yeah, look at my shit again. Hold on. Do, do, do. Yep. And second attack on it. Will a total 20 hit? Yes. That'll be seven slashing and one fire. Okay. And I'm done. All right. Uh, Leavin, you're up. Uh, do I know how to hurt these things? Um. Make a history check. Um, you're you're sure that a, a lot of things are going to not do a ton of damage to them. Right. They are ghosts, after all. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> you're afraid of ghosts? I ain't afraid of no ghost. I'll bet. <laughs> I suggested run. He did suggest running. <laughs> Feel this was inevitable, though, because of flying through floors and walls and such. Well, so, this location is what has um, created them and their issue, uh, their, their position is to sit here because this is where they died, so... True. Had they not been roaming the castle, this is, we wouldn't have seen them just here. But what? that's okay. I'm up for a battle. Um, and retreat is always an option to see what happens. As long as we stay close to the stairs, we should be fine. So, Tyrannus, you want to go to the other side of the room there, please, and uh, <laughs> smack them? First off, they cannot move, like, other than the two who are who passed their wisdom check, they cannot take any actions and cannot move closer to me, and they cannot attack. Like, they, because they can't move farther away, we don't have to worry about them for a full minute. So you don't okay. want to be big, that's telling me? I understand that, but there's only two that we actually have to fight against right now. He's got a point there. Not being logical. Damn. I know. It's like he has a college degree or something today. It's Yeah, like a master's or something. It's not like him to be logical. <laughs> All right, Laven. What are you doing with your turn? Uh, I am going to uh, go this way and shillelagh my staff. And try to just whack this guy and see if anything happens. Okay, let me take a look at that spell really quick. How the hell do you spell shillelagh? S H I L. Is the okay. beginning. 
That's all I need then. <laughs> First you get drunk, and then you Shilla try lock. <laughs> Just write down stick. Stick. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. All right. That uh, answered my question exactly. Go ahead, Laven. Shillelagh, your staff. Okay. And then whack him. Which one? Is... This one to your left here? Yes. Okay. That is a 21. 21 will hit. And I get to roll this guy. Oh, that's powerful. Um, I rolled a 1. <laughs> What's the... So for the damage bonus with that spell... So use your spellcasting ability instead of strength. Which is... So it's going to be plus your... Plus um, 5. Yeah. And okay, the weapon's so damage die becomes a d8. Yep, I knew that. I'm okay. still sure with the bonus. So gotcha. plus, that's 6 damage. Okay. All right. You uh, you successfully whacked a ghost with a stick. You're not sure how you did it, but you did it. Woohoo! Cool. Um, all right. Now it is time for the ghosts' turns. These ones are going... The ones that were uh, frightened by Tyrannus are going to sink through the floor um, to get away from him. That means we're going to find him downstairs. And then... Hey, would... Uh... The first one that goes, would that give a tax of opportunity to uh, Hagrid and Tony? Um, I guess. All right, uh, Hagrid and Tony, you get an attack of opportunity on the ghost that sunk through the floor. Ouch. Crit fail. <laughs> Tony? All right. Um, I got an eight. Okay, you guys both miss. You, you hear ka chunk as uh, the weapons sink into the floorboards of the uh, of the tower and the, the ghost uh, sinks through. Um, Laven, this spirit is going to attack you. As it should. Um, but that's going to miss. That's a seven. Um, Tony, this one is going to come over and attack. Actually, no, sorry. Um, Tyrannus, it's going to attack you since you've taken the form of its, its, uh, murderer. Do it. Uh, does a 22 hit? Uh, it certainly does. Okay. Let me grab another D6 here. All right. So you take 14 necrotic damage. Ouch. And uh, make a, a constitution saving throw. Shut her up. Uh, come on. Don't fuck me. Zero. <laughs> uh, all right. You are, um, your hit point maximum is reduced equal to that damage until you take a long rest. So... I'm now at my max health, but 14 points lower, or I'm 14 points lower and lost a different 14 points of health. No, so you're you are currently at max health, um, okay. because your max health is chasing your damage now. All right, and then I'm assuming I need to make a concentration check. Oh yes, yes, thank you, Jay. Do we remember what that is? <laughs> uh, so that is a eight. Is what it came out to, and since I took 14 damage, it should be uh, either 7 or 10 is the DC check. But whatever you choose it to be. Yeah, hang on. Let me, sorry, let me find it again. Well, the rule specifically says it's either half the amount of damage you take or DC 10, which is DM's choice. Gotcha. Uh, do you remember where in the player's handbook that one is? I do not. Oh, hang on. I guess it's going to be at the top of the spells chapter. I think I found it. Oh, oh it shit. Says, no, you gave me Warcaster, so I've got advantage. Uh, and that gives me a nine. Okay. Um, so your your concentration in your spell actually does break. Okay. Uh, so um, as far as you know... 
All right. So you, you, since you can't see them, you don't know for sure. But you 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 kept trying to concentrate on the spell. All right. Um, that's going to bring us back up to the top with Hagrid. All right. So we still have the one remaining. Uh, there's two two of them on this level. Oh. There's the one next to um. Tyrannus, and then there's the one next to Leaven down at oh, the southern okay, there tower. Is, it's, it's only partially on my screen. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to move then. Attempt. Corey, the ghost sounds does here are really haunting. <laughs> Sorry, Hagrid, does a, is it a 14 you said? Yeah, does a 14 hit? A 14 will hit. Interesting. Uh, eight piercing. All right. And extra attack is a 23. Hits. And that's 10 more. Nice. Those are some solid, solid stabbings. Solid stabbings add nothing. Yeah. But when you're stabbing, it's not like how you would have thought it would have felt when you stabbed a ghost. Your trident is finding purchase, though when you look at what you're stabbing, you don't see that purchase there. But the trident is finding purchase. Um, Tyrannus. Uh, Unless, the Hagrid, were you done? Sorry? Yeah, yeah I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Tyrannus, you're up. All right, I'm going to start off by uh, I'm going to make two strikes with my uh, plus one dagger at the uh, phantom right next to me. Okay. And the first one is a 23. Hits. The second one is a natural 19. I'll make it a 25. Also hit. Uh, so I'm just going to do both these strikes at the same time. Okay. And the total damage will end up being uh, 5 plus uh, 4, so 9 points of slashing damage. From your plus 1 dagger? Is that what it was? Yep. Okay. For the two strikes combined. Okay. And then, uh, for the remainder of the turn, I'm going to cast uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. At that same ghost right next to me, DC 16, wisdom check. Uh, and if it fails, it falls prone. If it can do so, it becomes incapacitated. Okay. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just poke where like it's like haunted hand went at me, and just see if my hand can go through it as it was a ghost wound. Okay. Uh, and what was sorry? What was the DC of what saving throw? Uh, Charisma saving throw of 16. Okay. Uh, it passes. Rolled a natural 20. Are Sorry. you shitting me? I'm not. Alright. Alright. Um, Tony Pullbar. Alrighty then. Uh, I'm gonna move there. And go for the reckless attacks. Okay. Um, how about a 25? Hits. So that'll be 17 slashing, one fire. Okay. And I'm going again. How about a total of 20? Hits. And that will be... Is that? My brain just crapped on me. Uh, hmm. 16 slashing and 4 fire. Okay. And that's all I got. Alright, Leavin, you're up. Whack the ghost. Uh, 19. 19 will hit. Ooh, yeah. Uh, 15 there. Or 13, sorry. I can't math. That's a, that's a great ghost slapping. 
All right. Anything else on your turn? Um. I don't think anything else is going to do anything to him. I want to poison the ghost. Okay. So you're using poison spray? Yeah. All right. Uh, as you uh, stick out your hand and your your uh, cloud of green uh, smoke comes out or green spray comes out of your hand, it uh, goes through the spirit with no effect. Hmm. All right. Okay, so now it is spirit's turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Laven, that one's going to try to attack you again. That's going to miss. Um. <clears throat> Tyrannus, uh, this spear is going to make another attempt to attack you. And that's uh, 20 to hit. Hits. And that's going to be 15 necrotic damage. All right. Uh, and then go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Uh, that will be a 15. All right. You do not lose those uh, from your maximum hit points. All right. All right. Um, and then, Hagrid, it's your turn. I guess I'll just uh, attack again. Okay. 26. Hits. And five piercing. Okay. Extra attack. 22. Mm-hmm. And nine more. All right. And that's it. Uh, Tyrannus, you're up. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of my standard healing potions. I'm going to chug it. And I will roll. And that's... Seven plus two, nine hit points back, bringing me back up to twenty one. Uh, plus nine. And then with my main action, I'm going to uh, make another two strikes with my plus one dagger. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration point to force advantage on the first one since I rolled a natural two. Okay. And that's a natural 20. Nice. Second one is natural 18 plus 6, which would be 24. Yes. All right, so rolling the critical first. Uh, that's 11 points of piercing damage. And then the second strike will be uh, 6 points of piercing damage. All right. You managed to kill a goat. You managed to kill something that was already dead. I am the truest repairman! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Tony. Wait, hold on. With my move, oh. I'm just going to mm-hmm. sit here and I'm going to back away. Okay. Tony, you're up. All righty. And I'm going to go help with this other one. Do-do-do. And reckless attack. Okay. Will um, a yes. 23 hit. Uh, yes. So Before the next spirits round, I need to interject, but go ahead and finish yours, Tony. All right. Um, nine slashing for fire. Okay. And next attack. How about a 24? That'll hit. How about six slashing and three fire? Alrighty. And I'm done. Okay. Uh, Hagrid, you said you had something to say? Yeah. Uh, being as this is uh, close quarters and we're having to have saving throws every time these creatures hit one of our party, I forgot now to remind everyone that I have an aura of protection that's uh, just a, it's there. I don't have to cast it as a spell or anything. And you're within 10 feet of me. 
you gain a plus four to your saving throw. Hmm. Any saving throw. All right. Is that Uncle Sean? That was exactly Uncle Sean. Why did he try calling you? Yeah, he just called me. That would be a useful protection thing. Yeah, well, it's it's only... It, the reason I say close quarters and it reminded me of it is because it's only for people within 10 feet of me, friendly creatures within 10 feet. So a lot of times it doesn't really take effect. Ah. Um, all right. Lay of in Europe. All right. Um, whacking the ghost. And that was Stop a one. Ghost. <laughs> so, nine. Nine to, uh, nine to hit? Yeah. That misses. Thought so. Anything else? Yeah, I'm just pretty sure nothing's going to work on. I'm just going to sit here and cry. <laughs> okay. So while Laven sits there and cries, <laughs> the other spirits oh. rise back up through the floor. Oh, yeah. As the fear spell has worn off. <clears throat> so. Hold on. When... No, never mind. That was my second turn. The concentration broke. I'm going to shut up now. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, Leavin, one of these spirits is going to attack you. That's going to hit, because a 20 is going to hit you, so. You take 10 necrotic damage. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Are you constitution? Oh, yeah, so it's just a 12. A 12? Yeah. Okay, just 10 necrotic damage. Okay. Um, let's see here. Tony, this one's going to attack you. And you use reckless attack, correct? What's up? You used reckless attack when you attacked the spirit? Yep, yep. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> that's going to hit you with a uh, 22. What if I want to dodge? You can sure you can certainly try. And I get advantage on these, correct? Because I'm raging. Yes. Ho ho ho. Didn't much matter. I got a total of eleven. All right. You sir, take ten necrotic damage. Go ahead and make a DC, or a Constitution saving throw. All right. To do constitution, you said? Yes, sir. Let me see here. I get a plus six to those. Um, how about a 25? Okay, so it's just the 10 necrotic damage. Ha, 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 ha. And then... I'm gonna roll real quick here. Alright. Tony, you're getting attacked again by the other specter. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, but that's gonna miss. Ha, ha. <laughs> uh, Hagrid, you're getting attacked by a specter as well, uh, but it misses. And then Tyrannus, the one behind you, um, does a does a 17 hit? It does. Does okay. Um, that's six necrotic damage. Okay, six necrotic damage. Put me down 15. And I'm assuming I need to make my saving throw? Yes. Uh, and but how big was that bonus? Plus four. All right, so that puts me at plus two. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a 16. Okay, just the necrotic damage then. All right. Uh, Hagrid, you're up. Uh, I'm going to cast Abjure Enemy on the figure in front of me. Okay. Uh, is it immune to being frightened? No. No, uh, no it's, about the only, it's about the only thing it's not immune to. Okay. I found that out when I cast fear. 
Yeah, that, that's what I remembered after I said that. So, it's not, are these uh, undead? They're not uh, undead, these are dead. They are undead. Oh, really? Okay. So they have a disadvantage on their saving throw. Against you? Against the juror, yeah, wisdom. Okay. Disadvantage? Disadvantage. All right. Um, I got an 11. Uh, you needed a 15 or better. Okay. So, it is now... Frightened again. Frightened again. Frightened for a minute or until it takes any damage. Oh, this is an interesting one. While it's frightened, its speed is zero. Interesting. So this is very different than your fear spell, Tyrannus. Yes. It is frozen in fear. Yes. So we're going to use that and that to indicate that it can't move. All right. Oh, it's probably not. Oh, on the screen here. Um, yeah, Tyrannus, you're... Oh, actually, ha Hagrid, uh, was that all you wanted to do was cast the spell? Uh, no. Seeing as I have the uh, creature... Uh, basically bound in front of me, uh, do I get advantage on my attack? Uh, there... You don't have advantage on the attack, um, but it would have disadvantage on an attack against you. Oh, okay. Because it's it's not like it's prone or anything like that. It just can't move. Speed is zero. Okay. As long as nobody, as long as it take, doesn't take any damage, it's stuck there for a minute. Yes. Okay. Um. Then I am going to move here. And attack the one that appeared behind Tyrannus. Okay. That's an 18. It hits. And then using... Uh, well, will, uh, will Divine Smite do anything against this, or do I have to try it to find out? I say try and find out. Try and find out. You would have to try it and find out. Yeah. Okay. Um, using Divine Smite then. Okay. Get some... Um, five for the initial hit, piercing damage. And then ten more... Nice. The divine smite. And for uh, my extra attack. But again. Will a 13 hit? Mm -mm. A 13 will miss. Okay. Alrighty. Um, when you uh, when you sunk your trident into the spirit with it uh, pulsing with your radiant energy the uh, the spirit let out a uh, an unearthly howl uh, so it it didn't do nothing um Tyrannus you're up alright uh, for my bonus action again I'm going to chug one of my uh, potions of healing leaving me with four remaining and that will give me uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, five points of health back. Thanks. <laughs> that's all right. It's health I didn't have before. True. And then uh, here's what I'm going to do. Let's uh, cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter again at the one next to me and Hagrid. Okay. Uh, and then with this one is... Uh, I'm just going to pretend to not see it. Uh, just just looking around the entire time. Because uh, if it's not there, it can't hurt me. <laughs> All 
All right, uh, it rolled a four on its check. So um, it finds it funny. <laughs> yeah, it is incapacitated, but not prone. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to cycle around this way. Okay. And that is my turn. Alrighty. Uh, Tony Povar, you're up. Well, seeing as I'm surrounded, I have them exactly where I want them. And I will be going after so-and-so. Okay. Recklessly, of course. Um, how about an 18? Hits. All right. We're going to go with six slashing and four fire. Okay. And after it again. Mm -hmm. How about a 23? We'll hit. All right. We're going to go with nine slashing and three fire. Oh, crap. Damn it. Did that stupid thing where I fucking put in two minus signs again. Okay. Um, Lay of in Europe. Um, I'm going to first take a whack at this guy. Okay. 15. 15 will hit. And 8 damage. Okay. And then, um, can do something a little different. I'm gonna cast Moonbeam. Moonbeam. Right over this dude. I haven't used it yet. No, you have not. And I think the only time we've seen this before was uh, in another lifetime. Okay. Was today. It's interesting that a shape changer makes the saving throw a disadvantage. All right, so, so werewolves. what's in it? You know, like werewolves. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Constitution saving throw. It's a two. I don't think that passes. No, it does not. Uh, okay, so 2d10 radiant damage. Uh, 11. Where's it from? Okay. Somewhere in the 50. All right. Uh, is that it for your turn? Yes. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll your 2d10 again, because it's starting its turn now, and it's in that spot. Sweet. Hey, Cora, real quick. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when we went to Pikes, what the temperature was when we got to the top? Uh, I don't. I think it was in the low 50s. Low 50s? That's what I was... Okay. That's what Mama's remembering. Um, one of her cousins just went to the top today. Oh, God. It was, it was 72 at the bottom and 28 at the top. Yeah. <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> Sorry, Liam. Okay, uh, did you roll your 2d10 uh, radiant yeah. damage again? Yeah, Which I got four. <laughs> wow, that's terrible. Cool. That's, that's awesome. It is. All, all right, <clears throat> so now it's going to move there um, out of the searing ghostly flame beam thing. Um, those two can't do anything. So these three are going to attack you guys. Uh, Leavin, the one that's been attacking you, is going to keep doing it. He misses. Tony. Wow, rolled two 15s. Uh, does a 19 hit you, Tony? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. I want to dodge. <clears throat> Go ahead. And. Wow, I'm good at this. I'm still going to get hit. Okay. Tony, you take. Uh. 13 necrotic damage. Make a constitution saving throw. Woohoo! I'm gonna die here soon. Um, constitution 21. Uh, okay. Uh, and then let's see. 
Okay. Tony, the other one's going to attack you again. Uh, but it's going to miss. I think that happened last time too, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, the Tasha's Hideous Laughter one is going to attempt to make a save. And it doesn't. So, uh, Hagrid, it's your turn. All right, the uh, one that is currently suffering from Tasha's hideous laughter, uh -huh. I believe, is the one that is, is close to me. Yeah. I want to utter a vow of enmity at you. Wow, you're breaking out all the all the stuff today, huh? Well, these are just my uh, class spells. Oh, nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you now have advantage on attack rolls uh, against it for a minute. I've uh, I've not used this one yet before, so. No, you have not. Is not it yet? new? No, no, it's been there, and I just haven't had the opportunity. Oh. Uh, the other one is still frozen. Uh huh. Like, it's for a minute, so that's a long time. It's ten rounds. Game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so as I uh, utter the vow, I make a s attack. That one. Okay. Oh, crit fail. So for my extra attack. You wait, wait, wait. You uh, hang on. You have advantage against it, which means you roll twice. Oh, well, then I get a. <laughs> I, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. 15. <laughs> uh, 15 will hit. And it takes five piercing. Okay. And for my extra attack, a natural 20. Uh, that'll definitely hit. And it takes ten more piercing. That's with the, the D6 doubled? That's, that's with it doubled, yes. Okay. All right. Um, it's going to try to make two saving throws. Um, no... What's the DC on your for for your spells, Tyrannus? Sixteen. Fifteen. Oh, Six, sorry. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, so uh, Hagrid, on your second hit, it uh, it stops making that weird ghostly laugh. Okay. Um, Tyrannus, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm gonna continue slinking away here. If that's just me slinking away. Uh, and then at the, what can I do here to help us out? Now we cast, uh, this probably isn't going to work, but, uh, I'm going to try to cast whole person on this individual right here. Okay. And then that'll be a DC 16 wisdom saving throw. Uh, and then if it is a person, it becomes paralyzed. Okay. Um, you cast your spell and you see you see your typical, you know, spell effect for a whole person, you know, kind of like a sort of like a, a uh, arcane restraint go around and just pass through and fall through the spirit and the spirit is uh. unaffected. At that point, I'm just gonna look to myself and go like, "Damn it! I shouldn't have trusted that guy." Um, <laughs> he then, said it would work. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I'm going to inspire Hagrid, and uh, uh, once again, being the wonderful field general that I was in the lizard man, I'm going to tell him, "It's like, hey, the next time they try to hit you, don't fucking let them." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> boom! Inspire. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty eloquent today. Very inspiring. His yeah. time with the lizard folk was well spent. <laughs> yep. Uh, that uh, my turn. All right, uh, Tony, you're up. All right, going after the same one. Okay. Recklessly, of course. Mm -hmm. That's the one in front of you, correct? Yes. Okay. So, how about a 19? It's. Uh, eight slashing, one fire. Okay. Here I go again. 
Mm -hmm. uh, natural 20. That'll hit. Boop. So, let's see here. Double the damage dice. That's going to be 12, 4 fire, 12 slashing, plus an additional 5. So, 17 slashing total, plus 4 fire. All right. Uh, you... You rend you rend a ghost in twain. Woo! <laughs> <clears throat> um, Laven, you're up. All right. Um, I'm gonna move the moonbeam. Ooh, you can. Uh, move. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, you can use an action. Uh huh. Yep. Sixty feet. Damn. Which <laughs> is a long way, but I only need to move it five. Yeah. No, that is a long way. All right, uh, fails its constitution saving throw again, so go ahead and roll your damage. Come on. Yeah, 15. That was better. All right. Concentration spell. So you could but it would uh, mean that the first moonbeam would uh, lapse in 12 seconds. Okay. Which is two turns? Correct. All right, let's do it. Okay. You get, okay. You're getting all roguey with the drawings on me there. Sorry. All right, uh, that one... Uh, fails its constitution saving throw as well. 11 damage. Okay. Radiant. Sweet. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and roll for them again because it's the start of their turn. Uh, they fail again, so go ahead and roll for both of your... Uh, 11. Okay. And 12. Alrighty. Uh, then they're going to do one of these. They're going to do a rotate. Uh, and they're just both going to attack you, Laven. <laughs> I deserve it. Alright. Uh, does a six... Does it, sorry, does a 15 hit you? No. But a 22 will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So you're going to take uh, 17 um necrotic damage that's pretty bad go ahead and make a um i need you to make a constitution saving throw okay okay 15 okay so it's just the 17 necrotic damage then Ooh. however um you also need to um have like ghost sickness no, no, no. Uh, you need to sing the song from uh, Patrick Swayze movies. Uh, you need to make another constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. 19. That's 19. awesome. Okay, you're able to maintain concentration on your second uh, moonbeam. Oh, cool. Um, all right. Haggard, this spirit is going to attack you, uh, but he's going to miss. And I guess she actually she is going to miss. I keep saying he. They're girl ghosts. Um. All right. Uh, Girls can be ghosts too, Corey. <laughs> Hagrid, you're up. All right. I am going to. As my bonus action cast Bane on the two ghosts uh, surrounding Leaven. Okay. Break their backs. Break their backs. <laughs> uh, what's uh, what do they need to do for that? It's a saving throw of a sort, right? Uh, charisma saving throws. Okay. Uh, they both fail. All right. So for their attack rolls and saving throws before the spell ends, which is one minute, 
They subtract a D4. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't want this. And then I'm going to uh, attack the one in front of me. All right. <laughs> Ouch. There's a 12 hit. Uh, a 12 does not hit. You still have advantage on your attacks against it, by the way. Oh, gosh. That's right. Thank you. Big um, dummy. <laughs> big dummy. How about 13? <laughs> that 13 will still miss. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Starting to look like the uh, Cubs in the World Series. Mm -hmm. For my extra attack, I'll how about an 18. That will hit. And that's uh, big nine piercing. All right. And I'm done. You, you've learned what it feels like to kill a ghost with a trident. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Thanks for my leadership. It's gratifying yet ungratifying. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Hagrid? I killed a ghost and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyrannus, you're up. Uh, okay. Uh, let's start off with... Uh, um, gosh... Pretty sure I can't be a Tyrannosaur or Rex in here. Those things are big. Plus, you're on a staircase. No dinosaurs. <laughs> um. So instead, I'm going to cast vicious mockery on this ghost right here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start off by just uh, shouting to them. It's like, hey. Hey, ghost, your shoe's untied. <laughs> Is that uh, a constitution saving throw? Wisdom saving throw 16. Wisdom. Uh, it doesn't pass. All right, so then it takes uh, five psychic damage and then has disadvantage on its next attack. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one right here. And then uh, <clears throat> I'll continue on. I was like, no, 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 not you, the other ghost. <laughs> okay. Uh, does not pass, even with three quarters cover. Uh, and that's another five psychic damage and disadvantage on its next attack. All right. Um. All right, Tony. All right. I'm going after this one. Okay. Do do. Um. I rolled two natural 20s on that. Nice. So I'm doing it recklessly, so let's see what I get for damage. Alright. Oh, bet. So that'll be 15 slashing plus two fire. Okay. And I'm going again. Uh, how about a 23? That'll hit. The natural 23. <laughs> Let's go with. So, you get your dice. I just forgot how to do math. Thanks, you. Uh, 14 <laughs> slashing plus two fire. All right. Uh, Tony doesn't know what he's doing. He's just sl swiping at ghosts. But somehow he's managed to swipe two ghosts away. Woo! Swipe left. Swipe, swipe left on the ghost. All right. Um, Laven. Uh, I'm gonna move some moonbeams. Uh, you can only move the one now. Oh, good. Uh, so uh, that, that needs one. to make a Constitution saving throw, and fails. Then roll your ridiculous amount of dice. <laughs> Thirteen. How much? Thirteen. Layman, did you say thirteen? I did say 13. It was a okay. 7 plus 6. Cool. Just making sure uh, that someone was getting nice. Can hear you. Um, all right. Uh, all right. What would you like to do for your bonus action? Uh, I wish I could move that moonbeam. <laughs> um, <laughs> how many of these can I do? Hey, hey, you should try making fun of it. It works. Uh, you could use your bonus action to cast another one. One. <laughs> Movies but you won't forever. be able to you won't be able to move the other one. <laughs> okay. Make fun of it. 
All right. It's all around. You get a moonbeam. You get a moonbeam. Everyone gets a moonbeam. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Eleven. Such weak damage to have killed that paralysis with. I killed the paralysis? Yeah, yeah. as soon as it takes damage, it's uh, no longer yeah. is third. Or not oh. paralysis, it's, it's fear. But uh, oh, wow. yeah, okay, so now it's the spirits' turns. Um, they need to make constitution saving throws to avoid getting moonbeamed. Neither of them do. So go ahead and moonbeam them. Beam, Beam them up, Scotty. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I didn't even think about the fact that you're Ten and sixteen. Ten and sixteen. Okay. Um. Tony, this one's gonna try to attack you. Um. It would have disadvantage because of Tasha's, but advantage because of your reckless attack. So that's regular but it still has bane so it gets a minus d4 to its attack roll um math yeah <laughs> all right uh so that would by the way that does wasn't it... Tasha's, that was vicious mockery vicious yeah that's what i meant yeah vicious mockery does a 19 hit you unless i dodge it okay which i don't i got all a right. 12 no i got a 10 oops all right, um, that's only seven necrotic damage this time, though. Okay, and a save Go ahead and make it. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Um, how about a nine? A nine? No. So, uh, subtract seven from your maximum hit points until your next long rest. Okay. Um. All right, and then this ghost is going to attack Hagrid. Try to at least. None of these ghosts have been able to hit him yet. And the trend continues. Haggard, you're up. Well, until that one moved, I was going to uh, jump over and help Tony and Leave him with my aura of protection, but seeing as I don't want to uh, provoke opportunity. Oh, why not? They haven't been able to hit you yet. <laughs> You can also raise your AC because you're inspired. Yeah, because that's what he needed. An AC higher than 20. Yep. <laughs> hey, I'm going for 21. Nick. <laughs> um, all right, I guess I will uh, uh, try and return the favor to the one in front of me. Okay. And that was a crit fail. Attack is a 15. That'll hit. And I'm going to use uh, Divine Smite. Okay. So it takes 7 piercing. Mm -hmm. And 12 more for the Smite hit. Okay. Uh, so as Hagrid tries to stab with his, uh, his trident and he, he 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 muffs it and so he's trying to get stuck in the wood and you just hear him let out a, a goliath roar as his shield glows gold and he punches a ghost in the face <laughs> with his shield uh, all right tyrannus you're up all right uh i'm going to uh uh start off with vicious mockery at the one next to hagrid right there and i'm just gonna sit there's like you're never gonna hit him just stop trying. You won't do it. Uh, it passes its saving throw. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> um, so then instead, I am going to uh, cast True Strike on this ghost, which makes the does no damage, but the next strike has uh, advantage from my party. And that ends my turn. All righty. Uh, Tony. Oof. All right. That means I'm going to do what I've been doing. Recklessly attacking. <clears throat> Which means I got a 20 total. Uh, uh, hits. <clears throat> so, 
Ten slashing, three fire. All right, Tony is just running through ghosts. Well then, I'm gonna move my happy ass. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. <coughs> and second attack that one. Okay. You have advantage. I already mm -hmm. had advantage. You've got double advantage now. <laughs> you also don't need to take reckless attack because you, you already, already had advantage. Did it. I already, you already had it. Uh, sixteen. Yes. Uh, that'll hit. Eight slashing, three fire. Okay. That's all I got. All right. Um, Laven, you're up. <clears throat> I'm gonna cast a fourth level moonbeam. Wow. <laughs> Why don't you just move one of your older moon moonbeams? Because they're stale. <laughs> well, you, you you can you can move this one still. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, level four moonbeam. All right, let's do it. <laughs> uh, Constitution throw. Nineteen. Dang it! This could take half the damage. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Thirty-two. Didn't matter anyway. All right. How do you want to do this? How, how does a moonbeam kill a kill a ghost? Uh, with ghostly flames. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys heard it here first. <laughs> you kill the ghost with ghostly flames, isn't that? That's like fighting <laughs> fire with fire. <laughs> it became so much of a ghost, it killed itself from ghostliness. <laughs> Over ghosted. <laughs> Uh, Never right. go full ghost. You guys each got uh, 650 experience points. Uh, at this point, I put my hands down on the knees. My knees are going like... Uh, uh, guys, those ghost hands hurt like hell. <laughs> I need a very long nap. Ditto. Uh, how, how about we just take 10 right now and figure it out from here? Hours. Uh, I'm gonna to start the short rest. I'm gonna have a song of rest um, in order to give everybody an additional D6, and uh, that song of rest will go something like this. This is a story all about how I got slashed up by some ghostly gal. If you'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how we came to Prince of Bel Air. And that's uh, it. <laughs> need to do a long rest. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm both long. Guys. Yeah. Well, the song still stands up. Sorry, your your, your ditty was entertaining, but uh, we're hurting a little bit. We didn't all get to go sit in a tent, you know, sipping coffee while everybody else fought for us. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's just sit here in this hard to defend spot. There's one way up. We're at the top. There's a stairway. That's the only way in. Yeah, and what's our way out if we get overrun? We ain't gonna get overrun. You go through the We're floor like it goes. Run. And that's why hey. there's so few Goliaths in the world, Tony. What are you talking Pull about? your shirt down and rest. <laughs> so is Tyrannus taking first watch then? Yep. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, long rest. Yep. All right. Um, this watch is just ghost like reforms and we're all dead. <laughs> so you guys them. take take a long rest. Yep. Uh, Tony, make a Constitution saving throw. All right. Oh, do 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 do. Yeah, crap. Works better if I get it in the box. Natural twenty. Hmm. All right. Uh, you were you were feeling kind of weak and out of sorts after the uh, almost drowning by the Atiok, but uh, now after the long rest, uh, you're feeling better. Woo! Uh, incubation period. Incubation period. Must have been a little gassy. <laughs> Oh, no, you got to watch out for that. That can do some real big shit to you. Yeah, constipation to bitch. Or to some guard drakes, you know, either one. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, can we check the ghost corpses before we head back down and see if there's anything of interest? Um, there's nothing around 
Ghosts yeah, there's a whole bunch um, of ghost gold. Do ghosts have corpses? Hold on. So, um, so there was three bodies <laughs> uh, sprawled on the floor, reduced by time to powdery bones and dusty tatters of cloth. Uh, and that's where the um, specters were sort of um, originating from. Um, let's see. The chamber has a, a large table and star charts in scroll racks around the walls. Um, I didn't read that closely enough. So there is a table with star charts on it and on the in the walls there. Are star charts of any value? Go ahead and make an investigation check. I shall. I rolled a natural 20. Okay. Uh, as you, um, Tony, reach for uh, the charts, essentially like uh, um, anything greater than the uh, force of your breath on the parchment uh, turns them to dust. Guys, these are useless. Though, if I remember correctly, there is a stairwell leading down in the uh, chair room that we took a nap in in our first delve into the depths of this castle. So, Hagrid, I do have a question for you. <clears throat> so, last well, time we took a rest, you did some craziness with a ring. What was that about? Craziness with a ring? Yeah. Saw you praying just... with a ring. You don't normally do that when we're resting. The time it's before this. It's called a promise ring, Tony. Haven't seen you do it before. What was that about? Uh, don't really remember. He prays to so many rings, dude. Just let it go. <laughs> It looked like some kind of a divine energy was coming from you, trying to determine something about a ring you pulled out of your pocket. Oh, oh, yeah, when I tried to uh, use my divine sense to, uh, uh, at least I think that's what you're referring to, uh, to figure out if that ring that I had acquired uh, was evil. Well, what if... Yeah, what if I just wear the ring and we find out for certain? I'm all for, you know, possibly seeing Tyrannus explode. Is this okay with you, Hagrid? Just as I reach my hand out? I believe my silence is speaking for me. <laughs> I'm going to go with no on that one, Tyrannus. Let's go down the chair stairs. All right. Never try to take his stuff. <laughs> never, never try to steal his tr stuff. I tried asking politely. That's true. That's true. Most people don't try yeah. that. <laughs> right. And what I found out is it works no better. No, you didn't get attacked. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you didn't get, you know, a holy symbol wrapped around your neck and then proceeded to get punched in the face while still being attached to it. What if I tried to, like, pickpocket stuff into your pockets, Hagrid? How would you react to that? Like, you just said no. Yeah, I pick, like, I, I pickpocket you and I put a note in and it just says, hey, how's your day going? Put that in your mouth. Reverse pickpocket? You know, I, I have an aura of protection that helps you guys. <laughs> I also have an aura of Keep the hell away from me, because that will hurt you guys. <laughs> well played. So whether you're adding or subtracting from my inventory, I would think twice. What about multiplying? <laughs> Can we just punch him in the face already? <laughs> no, 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 I just no, want to make sure what the social contract is, okay? These are what the questions are for. Don't do any math with his stuff. <laughs> okay. okay. Don't I'll... do any math <laughs> with his stuff. See, this is this is useful information. Thank you, Layman. You understood what I was asking. <laughs> Just don't do math with him. <laughs> yeah, no math. Period. Ooh. Pretty water. Although the, the the times, quote unquote, that I want to punch you in the face are multiplying. Ooh. Hey, hey, you're breaking your own rules now. <laughs> that's not his stuff. That's your stuff. That's gonna you know multiply or divide. 
Do you know the difference between those two, Tony? Nope, just using your words. <laughs> I'm surprised he knows those words. <laughs> He's a pretty good parrot. <laughs> All right, what do we see down here? All right, um, so... <clears throat> The the steps are smooth and well made at the top. Uh, as they descend, they're rougher, make several turns, and descend about 20 feet into uh, this subterranean area. Um, everywhere, the walls drip with water and the floor is slick with moisture. The temperature is a steady 50 degrees. Um, you don't see any doors anywhere on the cavern. Um, this area is uh, brightly lit by lanterns, but uh, you, you can sort of see uh, off to the sides um, any tunnels or entryways uh, look uh, pitch black and uh, all around you you hear uh, caverns filled with faint sounds of drip dripping water scratching rodents and scrabbling lizards sound doesn't seem to carry particularly well um, but the sound of a fight uh, will likely travel into neighboring chambers if it uh, goes on for any extended period of time how are the lanterns attached to the wall could I remove one and hang it off the uh, end of my great axe and walk around with it that way <laughs> Can you reach that high? I can throw shit um, So the lantern's just hanging next to the entrance steps, and then there's another one um, in the uh, northwest opening. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of like uh, hanging on the wall. All right, I want to snag one so we have some kind of light source. Um, the chamber is empty. Uh, only the sound of dripping water comes from uh, directions of... Uh, let's see. Uh... uh this this hallway to the uh, southeast and the hallway to the northwest. Mm. You're dripping water coming from those areas, those directions. All right. Do we want to go northwest or southeast? Um, there is also the stream, too. Uh, it goes off in a direction through a, sort of a tunnel. I learned not to go swimming anymore. Baths lead to death. <laughs> Hmm. Um, I can certainly smell how you came to that conclusion. <laughs> you took a bath in garbage. Yep, still a bath. Almost got killed because of it. I got violated by a tentacle monster. Not happening again. Not taking that risk. Well, you know, it's funny. It was really more of an unintentional bath. <laughs> you sort of nope. got pulled in. Nope. Tony now has an irrational fear of any kind of water. Trash or not. Gross. <laughs> You, you should probably put that on your character sheet. <laughs> I'm adding it. After this adventure, I'm going to use all of my gold to pay for uh, psychotherapy uh, for Tony. I'm having a um, fear like of water I can't see through. <laughs> can, you make a, can you make a medicine check, Tyrannus? To spend money? Not yet. Uh... What's my medicine bonus on here? Uh, that'd be a 13. Um, you get the feeling that it would cost you um, pretty much all of your life savings, as well as uh, probably not yield much um, result. All right, never mind. I'm going to lie and try to convince uh, Liv to spend that money. <laughs> I'll just do the therapy myself. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to teach, teach Tony about... About this nature. Boner work. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So I guess I'm going to skirt around the water this way and come up here. Uh, this water is actually uh, very clear. Don't trust it. It's in a cave. You see all the way to the bottom? Can't see all the way through it. I Have you tried opening your eyes? How deep, how deep is the water? I want to test how deep it is. Uh, what are you testing it with? Uh, my staff. He's swimming. Your staff? Uh, by the way, Laven, um, are you still using your quarter staff, or are you using the staff of the adder? Um, at the moment, my quarter staff, because I haven't had time to uh, affix the stone to the staff of the adder. Ah, okay, okay. <clears throat> That's something you probably could have done during the long rest, which requires only four hours for you. But uh, we'll get to that another time. Um, all right, Tony, you you want to go that way? Yep. Okay. okay. 
All right. So in this chamber, <clears throat> this one is which one? Oh, that number nine. Um, so there is a 15-foot uh, ledge dividing this upper area from what appears to be a uh, another area down below. Um, a wooden crank-powered crane has been set up for uh, lowering heavier crates of treasure down into the other area. Uh, there's also a wooden ladder uh, lashed to the uh, the edge of the ledge. Hmm. Can we see anything down in that ledge or what? Um, no, because it's very dark. So all we know is there's a ladder leading down into abyss with a crane. Oh, Laven, sorry. That water is about four feet deep. <laughs> oh. So even with dark vision, we can't see down there? Uh, it looks uh, kind of uh, misty and just sort of hazy. Like uh, Even with your dark vision, you can't really make out any details down there. Okay. Um, however, is anyone carry is anyone carrying anything to help Hagrid see? <laughs> I'm still carrying uh, that lantern. Remember, I picked it up. Oh I yeah. Can, okay. Yeah. So I can also. I have a rope. He can follow me with. I can like create a torch. You're gonna yeah, tie. Yeah. You're gonna tie a leash to your Goliath. Is that what I'm understanding? He's not my Goliath. He's his own Goliath. <laughs> All right. Not going down the creepy hole. But yes, I will have a bumper sticker on the back of my uh, uh, wagon that just goes, who rescued who? I'm going back <laughs> this way. So you're not going down the ladder? Not going down the creepy hole. Tony's afraid of the ladder. <laughs> Tony's afraid of a lot of things. I'm trying to, like, psychologize him into going down first. Nope. He went the other way. He said, fuck that. Can't see down there. What if we use the crank? Then whatever's down there will alert is down there. Okay. What if we tried shouting really loud? What if we tried throwing Tyrannus down there and seeing if he bounced back up? Um, Tony, Tony, Don't suggest stupid no ideas that you know won't work. Tony's no longer a part of this conversation. So <laughs> how far, Levin, how far Hagrid, down is, and Tyrannus. How far down uh, it's, is a, this? it's a 15 foot drop. There's a ladder that goes all the way down though. How tall is Hagrid? Uh, Hagrid, how tall are you? I'm about seven or so. You know what? I'm just going to walk down the ladder. Man, look at me on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I just know the brave gnome is going down this ladder. <laughs> the only gnome uh, in the party. Tyrannus, as you... Uh, as you go down into the chamber, you see that it's uh, filled with mist. That's not good. Hey guys, it's no problem. It's just, it's just mist. Just some, just some vapor. Uh, Tony, what were you doing during this time? Uh, I was walking the other way and finally realized that nobody was with me, so I turned back around. Okay. Uh, so there's a uh, sort of mist flowing out of. Uh, make any fucking sense at all. Um, the, the mist appears to be coming from uh, this uh, north northwestern um, passageway. Alright, hey, um, guys, this is either created by something magical, uh, condensed water vapor, or two frat boys with a vape stick. Uh, you guys want to come help me check this out? Sure, Bonsai. I don't uh, like mist. If, <laughs> yeah, I know vape sticks are the worst. Can can we see in it at all? Um, the uh, the mist is about three feet deep. So uh, Tony and Tyrannus, you guys uh, can't see much. I'm three uh, foot seven. And okay, so your your eyes are seven inches. Or your sorry, your eyes are maybe two to three inches above the mist. Perfect. <laughs> Mine are uh, certainly not. Does that mean I get surprise attack on people? Uh, I think that you would be surprised. Uh, Leovin and Hagrid, however, uh, if you guys are down, or Leovin, when you're down in the mist, you can see over it. Uh, you can't see but, below it, but you can yeah. see uh, ahead of you. Okay. Did mommy say no? 
Uh, Hagrid, what are you up to? Well, since the last mist that we were in uh, sucked out all our energy. Um, yeah. I'm just I'm I'm very hesitant to actually. Uh, Hagrid, go ahead and make a make a history check. Make a what check? Make a history check. Oh, history. You're you're recalling something from a, a different timeline. Oh, oh, that's right. Whoops. So, if you I, succeed on this history, I can't check, separate reality from this game. So. <laughs> We found out it was a different Rick and Morty actually had that life. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you you don't recall the uh, the mist in Barovia. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to step into the mist and I'm going to breathe deep. Cold. And I'm going to exhale and cough a couple of times. <laughs> and I was like, guys, guys, I think it, it, it's just a. Uh, a Dave Matthews concert. He's a famous bard, and there's always a hazy cloud of mist around his shows. I think we're fine. A <laughs> famous bard. <laughs> kind of like Jimi Hendrix. <clears throat> All right, so he's effective. No, because only one of those bards had talent. Um, Haggard, with this new knowledge that you actually don't have the knowledge that you thought you did, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going with these guys. Okay. <laughs> what do I see up here? You see mist. <laughs> what about from here? Mist. What do I see over the mist? You see Tony and more what mist. What about from there? Have uh, I kicked anything yet? You have not. Uh, this chamber is, uh, it seems to be pretty empty. Is Does this way go down or is that a wall? Uh, assuming, that does continue. There are stairs there. I'm assuming I found a corner. Uh, no, Tony, that's uh, another passageway, but you, all you see is mist. I can't see any further beyond this blackness here. It's just more mist. Marco! Well, fuck that passage. We're going this way. You then. can see me. There, Tony, this is what you could see. Yay. Mist. Well, then yeah, I want to go mist. down the passage a little bit mist. more. Marco! Does it ever end? Uh, yeah, the mist in front of you, uh, Leia, and it uh, appears to... <clears throat> uh, these stairs go up out of the mist. Hey, you want to follow the mist like Tony, or get out of it? God damn it, Marco, guys! Polo? Oh, thank you. Hmm? How t how actually, Tyrannus, how tall are you? Uh, I believe I'm three foot no. two. Three foot two, okay, yes. Yeah, so no, you're three foot one. You are you are fully in the mist. <laughs> you, yep. The top of your the top of your head is is crowning from the mist like a baby being born. <laughs> yep. Marco. So the only one who has responded polo to Tyrannus's cries for where the hell is everybody is Tony, who is basically the Pied Piper. <laughs> Do I see anything by moving further in? Where did those little guys go? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hmm. Tyrannus, do we want to continue or group up with the other guys? Marco! Answer the question, dum dum. Ah, ha, oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I'm not very useful in this situation. Just do whatever you're going to do. I'm going to follow you. All right, we're going back over here to the stairs. Marco? Polo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, can I make a dexterity check to see if I trip and fall? Um, <clears throat> no, uh, you actually don't need it. Because of the way that this, this cavern is, it's very smooth. So there's really nothing for you to have tripped on. Uh, dexterity check to see if I slip and fall, then. Sure, why not? <laughs> if that's what you, you want to do. <laughs> uh, that is a 16. Um, you, you slip... But you catch yourself with your back foot, and you don't fall. <gasps> I got it. I got it. I got it. Does uh, the mist kind of give me a sponge bath? Um, you're damp, and it's cold. So now you smell more like a wet dog than like trash? That works for me. It's an improvement. <laughs> it's the only way I can follow you guys since nobody answers. 
<laughs> I want to pick up Tyrannus by his or Tyrannus by his hair. <laughs> Moving oh. further in. Ow! Ow! Stop. <laughs> <clears throat> and just set him on the step. Sneaky aren't going up the stairs. Yeah, aren't you supposed to be nonviolent? Did you say sneaky? Being sneaky going up the stairs. Make a stealth check. I will. We told you druids were nonviolent. Uh, 18. Yeah. Oh, 18 plus a 4. 22. 18. <laughs> I got phlegm in my throat. Uh, <clears throat> guys, uh, could you... Um, Help me out. What is perception and intelligence mod- uh, skill? Uh, it is oh, a wisdom. wisdom skill. Wisdom, okay. Being a sneaky Goliath. Um, all right, Tony. Um, as you crest the stairs, you hear a uh, very loud uh, ribbit croaking sort of alarm. Alarm? Yes, uh, this bullywug here has uh, heard you coming up the stairs, Tony. Even with a twenty-two, damn, he's got good hearing. How do we kill these guys? Well, since he's already smoking, I'm going to yell down the stairs, Frogmen, time for dinner. Seriously, what have my lizard men been doing? Ha, ha, ha. They didn't find the cave, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> You're not as good of a general as you thought. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, what we're going to do here is we're going to roll initiative and uh, take a bathroom break. Dun, dun, dun. About, about five minutes. First off, I'm an amazing general. It's my army that sucks. <laughs> Attitude reflects leadership. And that's why no one follows you. Oh, damn. Hey there. I'm Jay Clark from Jagans and Drag Clark. We're still rolling initiative. Take a bathroom break. So give us just a second. We'll be back with more Dungeons and Dragons. You can you can just roll it, and we'll figure it out when we get back. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Taking ass on initiative rolls today. maxed out my initiative roll, so I'm okay with that. Hi, Chub Chubs. Pobar has returned. Apparently, I'm the only one. No, I'm here. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh. This has been a very eventful session so far. I've enjoyed it. I don't know. We haven't done much, though. Uh, we murdered some ghosts. Now we're going to murder some frogmen. Yeah, murderer, freedom fighter, revolutionary, and day's end, you all kill people. <sighs> Waiting on the DM. Hey, for the first time, I actually maxed out a uh, initiative roll, so I'm kind of happy about that.
Man, what the hell is Cory doing? Having a baby? I'm back. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Do we have everyone? I'm here. Flavin and Hagrid, we await their return. What? Hagrid's here. Oh, okay. Flavin. Everybody's here. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's turn that back on. Get some battle music going. Get you guys in the mood. All right. 20 to 25. 24. 21. Uh, 22. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> Who had a 24? I did. Tony? Yep. It's the max I can get. Nice. Um, Tyrannus, you were a 22. That is correct. And uh, Levin, what were you? 21. Wow. Uh, Alright, um... Hagrid, where did you land? A lowly 13. 13? Okay. Oh, damn it. I'm writing like an idiot. Okay, um, Tyrannus, you're going to be up first. Wouldn't Tony be up first? Yeah, I got a 24. Yeah, Tony, yeah, sorry. Because, <laughs> like, your guys' names are so close that, like, when I'm writing initiative, it's TP and TY. Do not. Do not. <laughs> yeah, don't put that evil gnomish bullshit on me. <laughs> don't have a, someone who lies to himself be me. <laughs> All right, Rage. Lie to others, you never lie to yourself. Two steps forward, reckless attack. Um, how about an 18? Uh, an 18 will hit. Uh -huh. Alright, we're gonna go with 14 slashing 2 fire. 14 Here. slashing 2 fire? Yep. Here I go again. Okay. Um, how about a 25? That'll hit. 15 slashing, 1 fire. Wow, alright, just like that. One last bullywug. Suck it, Trebek. <clears throat> um, alright, now it's Tyrannus. I'm gonna hold my initiative so I can go last in the party. So I'll go right behind, uh, 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 Hagrid. Hagrid? Yeah. Okay. Choice. Uh, Laven. I want to send a spike growth into the back section of this place. So okay. All those, all those guys in the back can't just walk through us. Um, two. Oh, like that. Ish. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, damn. <clears throat> that one's trapped. Well, you can just dive into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm just, I'm just hanging out back here. What is uh, what is your spike growth looking like? Um, it's well, not very might... well disguised. It's going to be well disguised, is that what you said? No, I said not very well disguised because it's all rocks in here. Mm -hmm. So it looks like, you know, the ones... The black bikes. Okay. And sort of, yeah, cave style. So I don't think moss. it's going to be that well disguised. Spiky moss. Like, you remember um, the black blood and soul eater? <laughs> yes. It's going to look like that. <laughs> all right. Um, is that all for your turn, Levin? Yep, hanging back. Okay, uh, then <clears throat> I need to look at something real quick here. That well, the bully wugs will survive. Does this music remind anyone else of like the '90s Batman music? <laughs> um. I could it's, see that. The tonality of it, yeah, the melody's nothing like it. Yeah, I'm talking the tonality. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Which, by the way, you can watch us all on Amazon Prime. Dun, dun, dun. Like the 90s stuff? Yeah, the Batman the Animated Series. Okay. You can watch them all for free on Amazon Prime. Uh, this episode brought to you by Kevin Conroy's Batman the Animated Series. The truest and bestest Batman. Next to the comics. Is that true? It basically set the precedent for how the Batman series would advance after that point. Like, Harley Quinn didn't exist till that Batman series existed, the animated one. Mm. So, kind of set the tone for all future Batman. Gotcha. Well, what about future bully ones? I don't know, we're still waiting to hear how they die. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure something out here. This is how you know we go on random tangents. No, it's not that. It's just this is a slight lack of. Uh... No, I was talking about the Batman thing. Oh, gotcha. Also, kind of reminds me of the movies. Like the Tim Burton ones? Yeah. I might have to rewatch those movies now, damn it. And I gotta rewatch the animated series, because that was great. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. I'm afraid to watch the animated series, because I have, you know, good memories of it. Oh no, it pretty no much idea holds up. Yeah. yeah, it holds up. Actually, I think it's gotten better the older I've gotten, because you notice so much more on how really diverse that series is, and how much effort they put into the subtlety of it. Okay. When you so agree. there's a bunch of, it holds a bunch up. of nice stuff. I, I, I can speak from actual experience since I own the first season. Um, it holds up. Good to know. Well, I mean, especially how the Joker's portrayed in that series. You know, you remember him as kind of, you know, the trickster, the madman, and all of that. And re-watching it, you realize that there's far more to him than just that. Well, also because Mark Hamill's a fucking badass. Yeah. There we go. No, you don't need any more. Go play. Well, my computer's freaking the fuck out right now. The fuck? Why did a vortex of noses just show up? Um, <laughs> well... <laughs> because I cast Pot of Noses at 4th level. <laughs> did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it is a stinking cloud what did he have a death crap <laughs> no no is there a, sp a special bully bug in here maybe um am I affected by this yes Hey, with how much I smell, does it even bother me? Yes. That's gotta be pretty bad then. <laughs> it even bothers him? <laughs> well, it's not his CEO. He has to notice it. 
I just figured you I may not really want to bring center. that up, Tony, because because pretty soon the rest of us are going to be making Constitution saves against your old. Or we'll all just end up throwing me into one of these, you know, ponds we found down here. It'll be kind of like the uh, Full Metal Jacket thing. Yes, because hazing is something that's totally acceptable in civilian life. All right. Um, that's that one. I need to look something else up. I was... Uh, woefully unprepared for people that cast spells because I don't know what any spells do. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, uh, Tony, uh, you can't dodge this, uh, but you're about to get hit with a fire bolt. Bullshit. Sounds fun. What? In a stinking cloud? Uh, that's a different person. That sounds like it's going to cause an amplified explosion because of the methane content. How do you know the smell is from methane? We're in a cave. It's one of the most common things that show up with decomposing matter. You're decomposing matter. Damn, Skippy. Uh, so you take 13 fire damage. Uh, I want to dodge it. You can't. <laughs> Actually, no, sorry, it wasn't 13, it was 26. What the fuck? It was a critical. All right. Range spell attacks, man. Um, all right. <clears throat> now, Hagrid, it's your turn. Um, I guess I stay here. Okay. I'm certainly not going into that shit, and I don't know what else I can do. You know so, range I, anything? That ring. Why is, why is the ring such an issue right now? No, the uh, bol Boris had one, the one that has magic bolt in it. Or magic missile. He's talking about your uh, ring the of bison your jewels guidance. Yeah, the bison head ring, yep. Your other ring. Okay, more importantly, is not what can I do, is what besides these bullywogs is making this. Such an interesting fight so far. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it's just, it's just like, Hagrid, keep focus. I've got things to deal with that. Just give me a sec. All right. Um, Mr. Pobar, uh, even though he's uh, singed and on fire, had a, had a pretty good idea. So uh, I guess I will attempt to use my bison head ring against. Eighteen radiant damage. Eighteen. All right. Anything else? Yeah, for my extra attack. Can I do it again? Uh, so it, it's not a. You, you can bonus you can you can use it twice on your turn. You can use it as a bonus action and an action. Okay. Uh, and I'll try to get on that same one. Okay. 23. Hits. Wow, 19. 19, all right. So as uh, as your uh, got a bolt of light uh, hits the bullywug, 
again, he uh, goes flying across the uh, cavern uh, on this bolt of radiant energy. And he uh, kind of crumples in the corner, and he doesn't get up. Um, so I guess it's Tyrannus' turn, then. All right, I'm going to pull out my Mockingbird, and mm -hmm. I'm going to position him right here, and I'm going to cast Gust of Wind to move this stinking cloud, or dissipate it or move it into the spike growth, whatever happens. Okay, hold on just a sec. So that ideally it's going to run in this direction. So I can take out, pull out your Mockingbird is not a euphemism? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So you said I'm going to pull out my Mockingbird, and I just thought that sounded kind of... All right, uh, Jay, go ahead and put the Mockingbird where you want him. Okay. Uh, mock. Yeah. Being. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, so you, so the mockingbird flies over and starts uh, creating a gust of wind. Uh, you're blowing it which direction towards the uh, spike growth? Yes. So okay. big central nose here. It's sent that direction. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, uh, so a strong wind uh, kicks up the cloud. Uh, cloud isn't moving yet. Uh, you know, I'm going to inspire Tony. I'll just sit there and say, uh, just so you know, nothing will ever smell as bad as you. And boom, inspired. Winning. <laughs> and turn. All right. So. All right. This bullywug is going to jump to there. They have standing leap. What? Yep. Let's go jump there. There. This one is going to land back in the spike growth, though. He's going to jump, but he lands in it still. Uh, this one is going to attempt the same thing. As will this one. Okay, so uh, how much damage do they take for one square? 2d4, 2D4 per square. 2d4 per square, okay. And what was the height of the spike growth? Because that will matter too. Does it say? No, it doesn't say. It just it covers the ground. They can jump up to 10 feet in the air, though. I'm going to guess it's not 10 feet tall. Can I also spike growth the ceiling? <laughs> Could. I just cast spike growth and side creatures GI track. <laughs> uh, no, because you have to be able to see it. What well, they open their mouth really wide. <laughs> um. Okay. Does that take up their whole move? I don't really know. I think it does. All right, uh, Tony, you're getting attacked by a bullywug. Okay. All right, um, that's a 20 to hit you. I'm going to try to dodge it. Yep. Um, I don't think a 12 will do it. Oh, wait, I get advantage. I'm an idiot. 22. Nice, okay. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, so you avoid the damage. Counterattack. Um, that ain't going to do it. That's nine. All right, and then it's also going to try to bite you. Um, eighteen hit you. Yes. Okay. You have inspiration. Oh uh, yeah, I'll use the inspiration dice. It's a D eight. Yep. D eight, D eight. Uh, that's a plus six to it. So plus an eighteen would no longer hit you. No longer. Okay. Alrighty. 
Um, okay. These, uh, actually. All right. Um, two bullywugs are going to try to hit you with spears that are, they're throwing. Uh, that's one hit. Two hits. Lay Evan, one's trying to hit you. That misses. So right Tony, Tony takes two hits. That's 19 uh, piercing damage. Woo. And back up to the top. Tony, it's your turn. Um, you need to make a, a constitution saving throw, I think. I'm hurting a little bit here. All right. Uh, natural 20. Okay. So you're, you're okay then. All right. Then in that case... I would like to move my happy ass right about there. Okay. And I'm going to go after that one. Which one? That one. That one. Okay. Back, Leslie. Um, total of 20. Hits. So 17 slashing, one fire. 17 slashing, one fire? Yep. Okay. Going after him again. Okay. Uh, 22. Hits. We're gonna go with six slashing, four fire. All right. He is uh, just barely hanging in there. And that concludes what I can do. Okay, uh, Tyrannus, you are up. All right. Uh, has there been any motion at all on that stinking cloud? Uh, no, it takes a round, even with a strong wind, for it to dissipate. Then it's been a complete round. It hasn't, because you just went at the end of the round, because you held your initiative. Yeah, so, so like, that would mean, I, like, by holding my initiative, I go at the end of every round. Oh, so you're not going now then? Okay. No, oh, because other like the two options I have is I have a hold an action where I can't move, or I can hold my initiative and just say that I'm like I'm going later in the round. Gotcha. Okay, let me mark that then. Lay in, you're up. All right. I am going to. Uh, which was the guy that Tony was hacking at? Uh, this one right there. Okay. Then on this guy, I want to level four Moonbeam. Okay. This is like my new favorite thing. <laughs> so while you get that ready, he's going to roll, and he gets a 19 for his constitution saving throw. That's not great. Get that out of your mouth. Yeah, get that Moonbeam out of your mouth. <laughs> Uh, 18. That's what you rolled total? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Go ahead and... Oh, wait. That was the wrong one. Uh, that does wind up killing him still, though. Oh, cool. And then the spike girl's only gonna last, like... More turn? Right. All right. So you said um, he's dead? What's that? He's dead. That one's. You you did it on the one that Tony was hacking at, didn't you? Yeah. This one. Yeah, yeah. that one's dead. Uh, anything else? Um, I'm trying to. Uh, do I have that? Yeah, poison spray. <clears throat> poison spray? Yeah. Okay, uh, it's a 15, so that doesn't pass, right? Um, so 
920 poison damage. 20 poison damage? Yeah. Holy crap. It's a fucking cantrip? 2d12. Teammate. It's 1d12 until you get to 5th level and it's 2d12. Wow. Druids, man. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay. I have to look up more spells. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not... Alrighty, so um, <clears throat> so you see a bullywug, uh, a large one, uh, decorated in all sorts of uh, women's. Uh, fine jewelry um step out from the darkness and uh the uh yeah tony's gonna hurl a pair of spears at you like a bully woman the one we probably smashed his chest full of useless crap yes uh let's see one of his spears is gonna hit you with a 20 no, not allowed. <laughs> Are you gonna try to dodge? Yeah. Okay. Fucking hell, I can't dodge for shit. Uh, no, I didn't dodge. I didn't break my DC. Okay. Or my AC, I mean. Right. So. All right, um, Tony, so you're going to take 8 piercing damage and 11 poison damage. Oof, 19. I'm feeling about 20%, guys. And then... Over the uh, corpse of the other bullywug, uh, a high elf steps out from the same passageway. And uh, he is going to probably packed up. Okay, uh, you see him uh, all of a sudden, like turn into mist and show up right here next to you, Tony. So, <laughs> and then he attacks you with his uh, his long sword. He's like Nightcrawler. Sort of. Uh, it's a spell that you've seen Hagrid use before. Misty step. Mm, gotcha. It would be a great time for me to have been College of Lore so I could have countered it. Um, Alright. So, that one's going to hit you. He's going to hit you with one of his attacks, Tony. And that's going to do six, da six slashing damage. Did he take any damage for landing there? Oh yeah, I guess it kind of still is inside your... Yeah. I'll do that. I'll throw you a bone. Yeah, guys, I'm at like 20%. I'm feeling about 20% here. Tony, you're it's raging, aren't you? Yep. Oh, Have yes. you taking half damage on anything? No, I totally forgot. Jesus. <laughs> so, Tony just been over here getting his ass completely fucking beat. That means I'll be at 36 because I've been taking full on everything. Uh, Haggard, you're up. 
Hey guys, let's play another episode of the worst barbarian ever. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tony Pobar, the calm barbarian. Hey, does that count as inspiration for me then? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not his turn. <laughs> uh, is this stinking cloud dissipated yet? Not yet. No, at the start of my turn. <laughs> Going to uh, attempt to cast Hold Person on Belmore. Okay. All right. Did he get that name because he was like born a weird color? I don't know. You're the elf. <laughs> Hey, at right. one time they were a person. You can't blame me for investigating. So he is. Uh, oh, there's a health. difference between hold, hold person and hold monster. Well, I didn't know I needed a spell called hold formerly person. <laughs> hold. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, bad girl. Yeah, I'm gonna move there, and then attempt to use my uh, bison head ring on Warren Gray. Okay. And that would be a twenty-two. I will hit. Oh Christ! So many ones. <laughs> Ten. Ten radiant damage. Jesus. I just accidentally subtracted 100 instead of 10. <laughs> Thank it. No, it counts. It counts. Uh, no, because I didn't take my finger off the pawn. Anyway. Um, and now all right. All righty. Uh, so, Tyranna says we come back around to your turn. Uh, the stinking cloud dissipates. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I suspect it's because Tony moved. <laughs> at this point as my bonus action I'm going to move the Mockingbird right over here once again if I can get off the ruler I can actually move my creatures bam 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 and now the uh, I'm going to have the Gust of Wind pushing Spellcaster into the Spike Grove so that will be a uh, Dexterity save of uh, 16 to prevent him from being blown back. He's, he's helpful. Isn't that automatic? Uh, that might mean he has to take a disadvantage. I'm not sure. Uh, so it's got to be when he starts his turn. 
Okay. I vote for we just tear his Achilles tendons due to the pressure of being held while being blown. I like it. <laughs> Graphic. Tony, where are the Achilles tendons? <laughs> Ankles. Yeah, he's sort of. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's in a general area. Combat, anatomy, they kind of go hand in hand. Not really. <laughs> yeah, you cut enough people open, you start learning where weak spots are. No, you just learn that you cut people open. The dissection right. is what you're looking at. All um, right, Marius, what else are you doing, sure? All right, so as my main action, I think a great thing to cast right now would be a motherfucking cloud of daggers. And I'm going to cast that right damn there. And you know what? Let's have some fun. I'm going to cast this at the fourth level. I'm talking about. And that will do 8d4 damage. Okay. Do you have to roll, or is it just a hit? I don't remember. Straight up hit. Okay. Um, also, don't forget, this is going to affect your Mockingbird. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's 6. Uh, that's another 4, so 10. That's another 6, so 16. And that's another 6, so 20 damage. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Do we want to try and capture this guy? Interrogate him? Yeah, uh, ideally. What was the, uh... Was the HP for the Giant Eagle is 26. Which is what we decided the Mockingbird was. I gave it the stats of a giant eagle? Yeah. <clears throat> Even though it's a small creature? These, these are the... That's what I sent you? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, the Bullywugs are gonna go now. Um, Hold up. This Bullywug still takes damage. Ooh. Okay. So that's five. That's eight, so 13. That's another five, so 18. And that's five, so 23 damage. Okay. This one here is going to hop up right here. He's going to bite Laven and stab Tyrannus. Um, does a 16 hit you, Laban? Nope. Okay. And it's going to miss Tyrannus. All right. What? Something missed me? Yeah. Because <laughs> he was trying to bite me at the same time. Hey, that's multitasking. Doing twice as much as you should, half as well as you could. This one's going to land there. This one's going to land there. And that one there. That one will take damage from spike growth. And those three are going to attack Tony. Uh, Tony, did you recklessly attack on your last turn? Yes, I did. Okay. So it it's a crit on its on the first one's bite. Misses with its spear. Um, a seventeen on the second one's bite. That meets my armor class. And a crit on its spear. Misses with the third one's bite. And miss so the third one misses you entirely. Alright, so can I dodge any of those? Uh, you can dodge the spear. Alright, I'll attempt to dodge. Do-do-do. Uh, 22. 
Okay, good job. All right, so you take uh, 24 um, bludgeoning damage from the two bites. All right. And then it's going to be your turn, Tony. All righty. Um, I'll go recklessly after a bully one. That one. Okay. Um, how about an 18? Uh, that'll hit. Seven slashing, three fire. All right, which one was that again? Directly to my right. Okay. And then going again. Will a 12 hit? Nope. And as a bonus action, I want to drink my potion of healing. You, okay. Is it a, just a regular potion of healing? Yep, that's what you gave me anyways. Okay. Um, 2d4 plus 2. Yep. So, 3, 5, I gain 7 health. Alrighty. Alright. Um, Lay of it's your turn. Alright. I'm going to move... Oh. Okay. Move my moon beam on that lady. I assume okay. lady by all the jewelry. <laughs> all right, so Farbalex needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, um, how is uh? So yeah, he's uh, he's gonna make that saving throw. Uh, 24. Alright. And I'm gonna poison spray the guy in front. One right in front of you? Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, fails the throw. 14. 14 damage? Yep. Alright. He chokes on it. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so we're going to need to do another moving thing here because Farblex's turn is up. Um, go ahead and roll damage. Okay. And then our black's gonna do this. Spatter here. Oh, by the way, Fargolex has to make a uh, saving throw to avoid being pushed back by the gust of wind. How far does it reach? 60 feet. 60 feet. Gotcha. Um, okay. I'm assuming it gets blown back into the wall and it'll take force damage. Uh, you don't know what's back there at all, do you? You're right. <laughs> what's the what's the saving throw? Sixteen. Of what? Uh, that should be, uh, I believe, strength saving throw. Meets it. Okay. I, mean, be I mean, beats it is what I should say. Then it doesn't move at all. 
It just okay. uh, it takes twice the amount. It's pretty as difficult terrain then. Yeah. Um, okay, then it's going to be the guy who's Held's turn, and all he can do is take damage. Right. There's a six. Uh, there's two, so eight. That's four, so twelve. And that's seven, so nineteen damage. Uh, piercing. Oh, Oh, you motherfucker! Whoa. Uh, and that's the end of his turn, because he can't move. Um, Haggard, you're up. Alright, I am going to assume that I can step over Mr. Uh, Tyrannus here. Mm -hmm. Gladly. And move to this spot here. Mm -hmm. And I want to... Um, Lay on hands to Mr. Pobar. That's three slashing damage. Another four, seven. That's another four, uh, 11. That's five. So in order to do that, you take 16 piercing damage by being close to the cloud of daggers. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I want to give... 20 of my uh, hit point pool to Tony. Okay. Why, thank you, sir. The net gain of four hit points. I'm assuming 10 will not hit him. No. Okay. Extra attack. Same thing. Uh, 12, I am assuming, will not hit him. A 12 will not hit him, no. Okay. I'm useless. And Tyrannus. Okay. Uh, first off, my Mockingbird dies. Because uh, the least amount of damage I can do is eight, uh, six hit points remaining. Mm-hmm. So it's not destroyed, but it is inert. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Let's cast. Let's get up 
right into these characters' business. And I'm going to cast Thunder Wave at level 3. Okay. Um, and that will affect everything within one square of me. So that guy. So those two bullywugs. That guy. And that will be 4d8 force what's, damage. What's the saving be, throw? Uh, I have this written down right here. Constitution saving throw of 16. Otherwise it takes full thunder damage and it gets pushed back 10 feet. Okay. This one here does not. The bottom one does not uh, move. Okay. So that is 13 to start off with. That's not bad. Uh, 13 plus 8 should be 21 thunder damage. Okay. Uh, the one immediately to your to your right, Tyrannus, uh, goes flying over Tony's head. In chunks. Um, okay. And then the other one, uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to use Vicious Mockery on him and just says, uh, 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 just wait a second, you'll end up like your friends. Uh, it does not pass his constitution saving throw. Cool. And that's seven psychic damage and disadvantage on its next strike. Okay. And then that ends my that's turn. That's Zane's. Alrighty. Um, running out of bully wugs. So, Tony, this one's going to attack you with his bite uh, and crit you again. Jesus Christ, I'm a crit magnet. And with his spear. <laughs> um, and then Tyrannus, this other one's going to attack you with his bite. He's got disadvantage, um, but a 21's still going to hit you, right? Yes. Okay. And then uh, he's going to miss you with his second attack. So, Tony, you are taking... Over there. 22 damage. All right. And then Tyrannus, you're taking... Oh, sorry. Tony is 27 damage. No, so 13. not 27. No, so, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry. It's 32 damage. I apologize. Oh. I forgot the modifiers after I did the crit dice. And Tyrannus, you take 8 uh, bludgeoning damage from being bit. Alright. Um, and that's going to bring us up to Tony. Alright, so I'm going to go after that guy recklessly. Which one? This one over here? Yep. Okay. Uh, 22. It's... Uh, 8 slashing 2 fire. Okay, he dies. Alright. And I'm going to take a step over Zal. And I'm going to go after Born Gray. Okay. Do you want to kill him? Uh, that... Yeah, not trying to kill him, of course. 24. Just ask. 24 will hit. Now we don't want to kill him. So that is going to be 11 slashing, 1 fire. Okie dokie. I conclude. Lay of in, you're up. Do do do. Boop, boop, boop. Moonbeam. Punch him. Punch the motherfucker. Uh, that's like 29 moonbeam. Alright. Constitution saving throw. Farblex. Uh, Farblex will pass. So 29 divided by 2, then. Yep. 29 divided by 2. Come over here and poison spray this joker. Okay. Uh, a 13. Doesn't pass, right? 
No. Okay. 14 poison. Okay. Um, is that it? Mm-hmm. Alright, go ahead and roll for Farblex for damage again. I wanted a trailer anyway, you should have punched him. Well, he's punching him with the moon. That's a ball right there. 26. Why? 26. 26? All right. Sounds good. So, uh, he's going to move. Uh, actually, no. Right there. And it's going to... Oh, no. It's going to move right there. Sorry. And it's going to cast a spell. Tony, I need you to make a uh, saving throw. What kind of saving throw? I'm figuring that out. Con. Constitution? Yes. All righty. Oh, that's an 18 plus 6, so a 24. Okay, you'll take half damage. Half of the half. Ha ha. Yes, half of the half. There's one. Okay, cool. All right, Tony, you're going to take, let's see, it's 12 damage. Okay, so six. Yes. And then you're going to get attacked also with a very familiar bite and spear attack. The bite is a 21 to hit you. The spear, uh, does a 16 hit you? 16 does not, so I'll try and dodge the 21. Okay. Uh, I rolled a natural 20. And then what's your athletics? Does that get you above 21? Yep, that gives me a 26. Okay. Uh, So you don't take any damage. Go ahead and make your counterattack. That's going to be a 15. Uh, 15 will not hit. Okay. Orn Gray is going to attack now. Uh, hold up. Takes damage. Okay. I don't have to stop uh, what I'm doing to do that. Two. Uh, that's six. Uh, that's nine. And that is another eight. So that is nine plus eight. Seventeen. Seventeen? Yep. Um, Tony, Borngray is going to make um, an attack on you. Flip this over. Okay. Um, that's going to hit you. And he's also going to attack you with his sword, too. So it's a miss. And a miss. Okay, so you just get hit with the spell. Which is uh, four lightning damage. And yeah, four lightning damage. All right. Um, Hagrid, you're up. All right, I am going to, for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Branding Smite. And I'm going to attack uh, Born Gray. Okay. God. Jesus, God. 
for my extra attack. <laughs> I think I missed again. There's a 14 hit. I uh, know a 14 misses. He's uh, a little more heavily armored than the, the specters. Um, Tyrannus, you've got to roll damage. All right. Uh, six. Uh, twelve. Uh, seventeen. Nineteen. Okay, Haggard, it's nineteen damage to you. Um, and then it's your turn, Tyrannus. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is, uh, noticing that there's some unintentional friendly fire going on, uh, I'm going to cast Healing Word on, uh, uh, Hagrid at second level. I'm just going to go, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, uh, sorry. And then, uh, there's four, <laughs> six plus eight, 14 health back. And then I'm going to shoot, uh, Born Gray. With a hand crossbow bolt. Okay. Uh, but that's a natural too, so I miss. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. And that ends my turn. Okay. Thanks, Tyrannus. Uh, this bullywug is going to attack Tony, since he's the only one around. He's going to miss with his bite. But hit with his spear. Tony, go ahead and attempt to jo- dodge. It's going to be a 21. Uh, if you... if you actually, actually, no, sorry, you can't dodge. I, I forgot. Yeah, you already used it. your reaction. That's right. All right. Um, so that is going to be 13 piercing damage. Okay. Now it's your turn, Tony. I'm down to 20. I rolled a natural 20. Okay, that'll hit him. Uh, Nine slashing, one fire. Very anticlimactic there. (laughs) And second attack. Wow, that was crap. Uh, 13? Uh, Nope, it's not going to hit. All right. Again, he chokes on it. All right. So, all, so all that's left is Farblex and Drowmore. Um. <clears throat> speaking of Farblexes, go ahead and roll damage for your Moonbeam again. Wow, that's the first time she hasn't uh, hasn't uh, he hasn't made his save on your Moonbeam. Just seventeen. It's a good time to miss to miss it. All right. Um. Okay. Seeing that. All right. Farblex is actually going to move right here, and I need Constitution saving throws from Tony Hagrid and Leavin. Constitution, you say? I do. Well, I got whatever it is. 22. 19. 8. Okay. All right. Uh, so this is a thunder wave. So, Levin, you're going to be uh, tossed 10 feet back. Right. Um, it's going to be... Um, 
12 damage to you, Laven, half that to Tony and Hagrid. Would that be half again due to uh, Tony's uh, tone stats? Yes. And then, Laven, you're going to take another 5 bludgeoning damage, or uh, force damage from hitting the wall. And then... Um, Wait, did, Tony, did you have to make a save too? Yep. Yeah. Did you add the plus 4? No, I didn't, but I he, made it. Yeah, you guys succeeded okay. on it anyway. All right. Uh, Leavin did not pass the with the plus four, which I'm sure was not added, but still uh, w- wouldn't have made a difference. Um, okay. So Leavin's then, like five feet too far out. No, he he was close enough. He was within ten oh, feet of you when it started. Okay, sorry, I wasn't paying. It's all good. All right, Tony. Uh, that's a successful bite against you, and a successful spear. Um, I'll try and dodge the bite. Okay. Let's see here, twenty-one. Twenty-one does not dodge it, so you get hit with both. Uh, so it's 30 damage. Fuck. I'm down, like, yeah. I'm gonna pass out here in a minute. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, um... So, that's gonna end Farblex's turn. Now it's Dralmor's turn. Jay, go ahead and roll your, uh... Tyrannosaur, go ahead and roll your Cloud of Daggers. Uh, five... Uh, 11, uh, 17, and 17 plus 6 is 23. 23. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, I'm going to use, or he's going to use the same attack against you, Tony, as he did last time. Uh, he's going to hit you with that. Uh, so you're going to fall unconscious. Yup. And what is his alignment? He's going to uh, he's going to attack you once, um, which is going to impose two death saving throws on you. Or it's uh, two, sorry, death saving throw failures on you. Oh yeah, because, yeah I'm almost dead. Because you're unconscious. And then Haggard, he's going to try to hit you with his other attack. Uh, land on the edge. You got three attacks. Uh, it's a cantrip, and then he get, has a multi-attack. Mm. Okay. Haggard, that's going to hit you, and that's going to be 20 slashing damage. Well, then one more failure, and I'm out of this game. Um, with that, Haggard, it's your turn. All right. With my bonus action. Mm-hmm. I take a ruby stone ring out of my pouch. I place it on Tony's finger. Okay. So the and uh, with bind- go ahead. no no sorry go ahead what were you gonna say? I was saying with binding smite still in place I will attack Born Gray. Okay. Twenty five. Okay. That will hit. And I'm gonna use uh, divine smite. Okay, so Divine Smite on top of Branding Smite? Yes. Sweet. Put him down. So he takes uh, seven slashing from the sword itself. Okay. Takes ten more from Divine Smite. Okay. He 
It takes six more from Branding Smite. Radiant damage. Nice. He is uh, he is really struggling. You you hit him. It's a, it's a huge blow with your sword. You hit him, and you, there's like this resounding like <laughs> sound that resounds through the chamber as the radiant energy uh, goes all into Drowmor, and he uh, you you catch him like right on the shoulder, right between his uh, his shield and his his neck, and he uh, he kind of like crumples a little bit, and then he <laughs> and like blood spatters out on the ground in front of him, uh, but he's he steals himself. He's ready for another attack. So I still got my extra, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to attempt to hit him again. It's a 15 hit. A uh, 15 will not hit, no. Okay. Uh, Tony, you... You feel... <clears throat> Less dead, but you're still not con- you're still not conscious. You feel slightly stronger. There's like a sort of renewed vitality as you felt yourself slipping from reality. Uh, you feel yourself uh, just like kind of one step closer to being not dead. Not dead. Yes, Tyrannus, you're up. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, cast Healing Word on Tony Povar. I'm just going to sit there and uh, just say something along the rides from. Uh, Rise from the grave. <laughs> and that will offer. 5 plus 8 will be 13 hit points back. Why? All right. Tony, uh, you receive no hit points. I receive no hit points. <laughs> well, Sorry, Tyrannus. While, while I do appreciate the reference, uh, there's, there's greater things at play. Yep. And then once again, seeing the tornado of daggers I put out continuing to uh, thrash on my Goliath friend, the healing word, I'll just sit there and uh, I'm going to cast healing word on him. At, uh, but I, the way I'm doing it is I'm trying to use my breath to push the daggers farther away from him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and that will be 8 plus 8, 16 hit points back. Nice. And that puts me out of second level spells. Uh, that's my turn. All right, uh, Tony, for your turn, make a death saving throw. Alrighty then. Let's see here. I rolled a fifteen. It's a success. Woohoo! Laven, you're up. All right. Um, so I'm guessing cure wounds isn't gonna help him. Plus, it's a touch spell. <laughs> um. I can run over there. <laughs> I mean, you can try it. Um, well, first things first, I gotta hurt that person. You're gonna what? Sorry? I have to hurt that person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thing, okay. Whatever it is. All right. Go ahead and roll. Oh, yeah, 30. Wow, nice. Too bad she made her save. He, you got me. You got me confused. <laughs> Lady Jewelry, it's she. <laughs> um. Then. Run up here and poison spray him or her. Farblex. <laughs> All right. Um, constitution saving throw is made. Uh, fourteen. Uh, on poison spray, is it all or nothing? Uh, you're right. Okay. All righty. Um, now it's Farblex's turn. Uh. Farblex seeing uh, his opportunity at uh, having this this tower, having the favor of the cult of the dragon uh, in his favor and and uh, allowing him to live here instead of in the swamp and having to deal with Ragamanthar, uh, he's going to uh, cast Thunder Wave again. And this time not at the third level. Okay. 
So, um, Hagrid and Leavin, I need a um, constitution saving throw. Also, Leavin, you can roll your uh, your damage for your um, moonbeam. I got a 19 for the saving throw. Okay. 14. 14, okay. Oh. Uh, 29. I had 27 after three rolls. Oh. <laughs> Big bucks, no whammies. All right. Um, Tony, you receive another death saving throw success, though your body is sort of tossed over here. Um, Hagrid, you take three uh, um, thunder damage, and you're also going to get thrown against that wall there and take three force damage. And Laven, you take one thunder damage. Oh no. I've heard that sound before. Yes. You have heard that sound. You've made that sound before. <laughs> Alright, um, it's Dralmor's turn, so Tyrannus, why don't you go and roll your uh, shit? Alright. Nine. Alright, that's six is fifteen. Plus four is 19. 19. All right. Um, Leavin. Draumer is going to step up and he's going to attack you. Um, actually, sorry. Before he moves, he's going to throw a bolt of fire at you. And that's going to be... Does a 15 hit you? Nope. No? Okay, so he misses with that. Misses with that, and he's going to then run up and attack you with his longsword. He's going to hit you with it once. And that's going to be... 12 damage. Slashing. That hurts. Um... And that's where he's going to end his turn. So, Hagrid, you're up. Twenty radiant damage. All right, much like when you uh, caught that bully wug with it, uh, Dralmor rides the lightning and uh, hits that wall, slams into it in a crumpled mass on the floor. If I could, I'd spit on him, but I think he's too far away. The clouded daggers might have something to say about that. <laughs> I thought we weren't trying to kill him. Too late now. Yep. We'll just have to loot his corpse if I don't die. <laughs> I'm sorry, when he killed you, that changed things. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> not only did not only did he kill you, he tried to double tap you, Tony. <laughs> he did double tap me. I got two failures right off the bat. Well, yeah, it's an automatic hit and an automatic critical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I'm sorry if they get in the way, but my tenants uh, don't actually require me to give mercy to opponents. Uh, they require <laughs> me to kill them. <laughs> So, sorry. Um, I wanted that motherfucking dead. All right, Hagrid, what else are you doing? You've used your bonus action so far. I am... And I have one charge of my ring left. I'm going to try to hit that slobbering he-she of a bully log. <laughs> 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 Quote of the day. <laughs> does does a twelve hit a twelve slobbering he should be? <laughs> oh fuck. Alright, I'm done. Okay. Um <laughs> Tyrannus, you're up. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. No, go play, kiddo. Come here. Uh, let's start off by casting Vicious Mockery on uh, Farblex. Okay. Uh, and Tyrannosaurus, shout out. All your friends are dead. You're, you're about to join them. What's the DC on that? 16. Wisdom uh, 16. Wisdom. Oh, wisdom. Uh, he does not make it. All right. That is eight max damage, eight psychic damage, and disadvantage on their next attack. Okay. And then Tyrannus is going to get brave. He's going to get good, and he's going to roll two attacks with the plus one dagger. Okay. And where's my other d20 so the rolls at the same time? That is a 19, or I'm sorry, not a 19, a 22. Yeah, 22 on the first attack. It's... And then a 9 on the second. Yes. And that's max damage. 4 plus 3 is 7 damage. All right. Yeah. Um, Tony, go ahead and uh, you have, you're at 2 and 2, right? Yep, 2 and 2. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll your d20 for your death saving throw. Natural 20. All right, uh, you are back to one hit point. Oh. So you're you're conscious. Yay. Um, Lay of in, it's your turn. Great. I'm going to... Let, let, wait. Oh, I guess the moon's just sitting there now. Um, mm -mm. can't do that safely. I'm gonna poison spray, fart breath. Uh, so you said poison spray? Okay. Is that what you said, Ty uh, Laven? Cereal. Poison spray? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fails the saving throw. Uh, so that's 14 poison. 14? Yes. Okay. All right. Then I just want to whack it with my quarter staff. All right, go ahead. Is it 17? Oh, yeah, 20. Hits. For four damage. All right, how do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, after all of the attacks in the movie and everything, I just get frustrated and whack it on the head and that apparently is the last <laughs> <laughs> all right so that was uh that's our first boss battle guys it's like a double boss so Basically. i make note of the fact that i have a strange feeling of additional ring on finger notice it appears to be the one that hagrid you know had Look at him and go. Hagrid, your ring has weird restorative anti-death powers. I thank you for your use of it, and I shall return it to you. As I take the ring off and hand it back to him. As you try to take the ring off, it won't come off your finger. And I'm going to chop a finger off. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. No. <laughs> it, it is not in my people's culture to keep that, which is, you know, given and saved and... You, you, I owe you a death, you know, packed thingy. So, uh, I'm gonna death pack off. thingy. <laughs> Which Check finger Jeff. did we put it on? That's the important part. Uh, Tony, let, let's not be ridiculous. Um, keep the ring on your finger. It's only gonna help everyone. If you can help the rest of the party, then it's it's fine. Just keep it. 
Well, sir, either way, I owe you a life debt, and I will be at your service as needed. I would expect no less from a uh, no? valiant Goliath such as yourself. You humble me, sir. Alrighty, loot corpses. Uh, uh, yeah, if you want to go ahead and against the wall, have a smoke. <laughs> if 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 you want to loot, go ahead and make a investigation check. Yep, 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 yep. It's bound to be useful information on at least one of them. Uh, I found nothing. You found a ten. Less than nothing. I, I rolled a four. <laughs> I rolled a two with a minus one. I'm going to go over this way instead. So, so I, do I get another ring with a ten, maybe? Uh, nope. Sorry, Hagrid. <laughs> oh, wait, the fancy guy has a probably. All right, stuff. all right. Seeing it, seeing everybody searching around with their eyes closed, I'll roll investigation. Down, That's um, a seventeen. A seventeen. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see here, real quick. All right, that does land on the one of the many tables of many things. Ooh, the many tables of many things. Okay. Um, Tyrannus, you find a, a spell scroll. Um, and I need to find and relate what spell that's going to be, but I don't have that on me right now. Um, but, uh, did I say what, how much experience you guys got for that one? Nope. 3,100 each. I could have used that one first. Oh, well. Three what? 3,100. Puts us at level nine. That'll be fun. All right. Um, Definitely in need of a, a a good long rest again. <laughs> yeah. Same. Uh, all right, you guys are in Frog Shrine room. Okay, uh, where do you guys want to go? I need a nap. Feel safe. Yeah, enough I, to thought nap. We, uh, I thought we would be taking a rest here if we could. Uh, you guys are not able to take a rest in this cave. There's more than just them there. Okay. Well, then let's go back. Yeah, it's good. He's not good fight if you can't get him. I just want to peek my head over this way. Okay. Uh, it's a chair. And that's as far as you can see, at least. I like Hagrid's idea of going back the way we came and going upstairs and taking a nap. Oh, that's a pretty sparse room. So in this room, lay of in. I'm trying to focus. A table and a chair and a thing. I can't. It's, uh, there's a chest in the back. Ah. Tony, smash this chest open. Don't throw the $60 controller. Nope. I am still recovering from multiple near-death experiences. All right, I'll check it out. What the f I don't understand why that chest is even there. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, I'm sitting in this chair. <laughs> Can I tell if there's anything in it or, like, around it, or am I going to die if I try to open it? 
Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. I like those. 22. 22. Okay, you see um, on a on a small rig above the chest is like a ledge with uh, with pots up above it that look like it's rigged to drop the pots if the chest is um, uh, moved or if it's not open properly. That's not that bad. Uh, I'll just swipe the pots. I'll make noise and bring people. I like take the pots and take them off. Okay. Oh, by the way, once my cloud of daggers um, dissipates, I'm going to pick up my mockingbird. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Now I'm going to try to open it. Uh. Okay. Um. Um. Hmm. All right, since I don't actually know why that chest is here, we're going to put some gold in it. Cool. Uh, 50 gold pieces are inside the chest. Cool. How many yeah, I don't, are... I don't get that. It's like this entire this entire room was written to have that trap be there, and there's just nothing in the chest. Like, it never you talks about the trap. That. It's so stupid. It's just about the trap, but the trap is Probably like after you fought everything. <laughs> Probably just to invoke another fight. Um, no, actually, this one isn't. Well, not necessarily. All right, well. That was interesting. Hey, guys. Those two people are kind of tough. Is there anything important about them? Well, the one guy is, like, the leader of this place, I think. Okay. Uh... Tyranids, do you remember Dralmer or Born Grey being the person that uh, the Dwarven cook referred you guys to when you guys first got into the castle and were trying to figure out who to uh, quote-unquote report to? Hmm. Well, I'm now the leader of the cult of the Dragon Queen. Ha-ha! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so clear this out. Where do we need to go to next, guys? What was, what was on the job list? Yeah, we either go back and rest, or we just keep on trucking. Hagrid, do you remember the uh, the the letter that you saw, the the map and the notes that you saw up in uh, Resmir's chamber, the uh, the po- the portal that the cult is using to move stuff out of the castle and further along wherever it's going is in this cave system. Do with that knowledge right now. Okay. So, what do you guys think? Go back and rest and come back? I mean, that's what I'm thinking. We, we nearly had one of us die. Uh, I think that's kind of an appropriate plan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on board with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, where is it that you guys want to go to? Uh, back guess, out of the cave. Yeah, have to go back to the room with the mist, I think. Yeah, room with the mist, up those stairs that we came down initially. Right, and like where where in the castle are you planning to go? I'll just uh, put us there. Is, the that, first is, yeah, is that closet we went to the last time I was with you guys a good enough place? Sure. Yeah, I'm good with taking a nap in there. Are we able to actually get that far right now? Yeah, it's actually right next to the staircase that you guys came down to get here. Yeah. I mean, if we wanted to, you know, cut the whole scene transition, we could say we go up there, take a long rest, come right back down. As long as we have safely. As long as nothing is in there. Yeah, nothing's in there. I mean, you guys could do that. Uh, I'll take first one. Okay. 
Alright. I, uh... And I'll take second watch, because I only need four hours. And while I'm watching, I'm gonna, uh, do the thing with the staff. Okay, um... Go ahead and, uh... Actually, no, I mean, it's just druid craft. Yeah, you can do that. And Kay. taking a long rest would put us all at level nine, correct? Mm -hmm. I'd also like to read Plus the uh, book of Gnomish Husbandry <laughs> during my shift. Did you learn what it is? Oh, yeah, it's how to raise gnomes. It's more than that. Oh, reading. It's, it's eugenics. It's about the Hitler of gnomes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a book that would literally make me Hitler. <laughs> this, this is a bad idea. I do really enjoy D and D Beyond because I could just do my level up just now. There you go. <laughs> All right. So we're back down here at the bottom of the stairs then. Uh, uh, hold on. I haven't been able to get a word. In. <laughs> During my long rest. Uh, am I able to attune the uh, trident yet, or do I have to spend a different period of time doing that? Um, the uh, the trident doesn't need attunement. Oh, it does say it requires so attunement. Oh. Yeah, it did say that in the thing you sent me. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> I don't think this one needs Why I didn't use it against the bully logs. Uh, also, so I, I realized also that bullywogs aren't considered beasts, so it wouldn't have worked on them. So, it worked out in the end, but, uh, yeah, no, I don't, that doesn't require a teammate. Alrighty. That was ungodly rough. <laughs> but, my level up got me ten more hit points, so I'm okay with that. No, it didn't get me 10. It got me... Three? That's not right. I'm supposed to get a minimum of seven with our rules. If I'm not mistaken. Correct. So I gotta add four more. Ow. That puts me at 95. My bad. And... Puts me about 1,222 into the level. Alright. Um... <clears throat> So, uh, Leavin, I'm assuming that uh, you leveled up as well. Do you know? What's your uh, 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 experience point total at? Before today, I was at 42,667. So, let's do that. Here's the thing. <laughs> so you need a total of uh, 48,000 to be level 9. So I'm just short. Okay. All right. Um, Tyrannus, did you hit level 9? I did not. Okay. All right. Then we can, we can keep going if everybody's ready. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. Are, are you sure you're ready, Hagrid? Yeah. Uh, all right, so where is it that you guys want to go in the cave? Uh, back the other way. I wanted to go down the stream. 
So that room that Layman went into that was completely empty except for the chest? It was basically, a chair, a yeah. table, and a chest. It's, uh, it's where Farblex came to contemplate his the great mysteries of the universe, or so he tells his followers. Uh, it's the only place he goes alone. Do we want to, I mean, I guess we could check it out if we think there's something else in there. Honestly, guys, I'm going to save you time. There is nothing in there. All right, so. It's probably the stupidest one written into this entire module so far. <laughs> so back to these stairs, then. Do -do. I just realized that I, with our minimum and my charisma modifier, I get plus 10 every level up minimum. Sweet. You're, you need it. I do, after that last one. So the proficiency bonus, Corey, uh, is that just added to the four skills that I have chosen uh, to... Uh, it, also, it also applies to your attack rolls and your saving throws that you're proficient in. So my attack bonus goes up as well? Yeah. Uh-oh, I lost my guy. I get plus seven to my saving Too throws late. now. Oh, no, Pondo. So you have no excuse for dying now. <laughs> yeah, that's just saving you can't. Those. If they just bludgeon me to death. You can't die. You also can't be healed. Well, at least not with that particular method. Mm -hmm. Minor detail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys want to head down this other pathway here? Yep. Mm -hmm. no. I'm feeling better now. Alright, so this room uh, is which room? Three? Is that bottom uh, right part just a wall? It, so. Yeah, it's just like the little like Alcove, it's nothing. Yeah. Thank you. So that all leads down into this room here. Um, the floor of this room is flooded a foot deep with sticky, reeking mud, making the whole chamber difficult terrain. Okay. Bullywugs roll in this mud, both because they enjoy it and for obscure ceremonial purposes mandated by Farblex. Uh, two bullywogs maintain the mud at just the consistency and depth the bullywogs prefer. Um, the steps to the west, so these ones out here, uh, beyond the bullywogs, yep, yeah, those ones, um, descend steeply uh, 10 feet into the next area. Uh, murder bullywogs? Yeah, I mean, and quickly, oh, hopefully. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And they run away in fear. Oh, uh, we should have, like, cut off his head. Yeah. Not too late. Tony, go back. Okay. Can I go back and cut off his head and make it back before anything happens? They know you're here. No. They're not attacking oh, they're you openly, but they're not, like, not watching you. Splash around in the mud and ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why don't you just create some water and then it ruins the consistency of the mud? That would work too. I'll do that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna make it rain all over their mud. Although I can only do it in a five foot square. <laughs> so I'm gonna rain over a section of their mud. Just right here. Just rinse one of them off. No, no, no do that, Tony. Uh, as you as you uh, make it rain, they go over there and start moving the mud around to make it con consistent with the rest of the mud around. Well, do we want to see if we can just move past them then? Let me see if we can. Uh... Hmm. I'm worried that if that goes into the next chamber that we'll get ourselves into another massive fight. That's why I want to kill him quickly and quietly. Uh, 
Well, we can either openly attack them or see about skirting around and attacking them. Uh, I'm gonna make it rain over here. Okay. Same thing. Only one wet. No, the other one did Yay. too. I just accidentally right clicked. Uh, recognizing this is probably my only chance to get through, uh, I'm going to start trying to get through. No, I can only move three squares every six seconds. Yeah, same thing. They're not going to bother with us. I say we leave them. How do you know they're not going to bother with you, Tony? I said if. Yeah. So we'll scoot through, and if they decide to be obnoxious, we'll go after them. Yes, they are going to attack you. All right. <laughs> I was trying to keep him. Ah, it's okay. They're in the like murder spot between you and Hagrid. You should be able to get them surrounded and make them die almost instantly. All right, go ahead and roll initiative. Ba -ba -ba. That's more like it. I've regressed the mean guys. Wow, I did great. All right, twenty to twenty-five. 15 to 20. 10 to 15. 13. 12. 5 to 10. 7. Uh, it sounds like Hagrid's got company. Okay. Um... Let's uh, go ahead and start then. I get six rage uh, damage. Uh, Tony, you're up. All right. Uh, rage. Reckless. One immediately in front of me. Okay. Uh, how about a 26? Hit. Uh. All right. Uh, we're looking at... Eight slashing, three fire. Okay. Again. Twenty-three. Hits. Uh, eighteen slashing, two fire. Okay. Uh, Laven, you're up. Uh, po uh, well, I have to move first. Now I'm going to poison spray the living one. Okay. Makes a saving throw. Okay. Well, that didn't help. Um, then the um, produce flame and throw it at it. Okay. How's a 16? Misses. I'm useless. <laughs> That's uh, all Hagrid, did, Hagrid, did you want to roll initiative to get in on this? Sure. 14. 14? Okay. Yeah. Um, why don't you go ahead and go now? Uh, what is it? Where you have one bullywog left. Yeah. Um, try to attack him with my sword. Good fucking god! Extra attack. Uh, adjusted twenty. Hits. <laughs> oh, that's a big five for slashing damage. <laughs> okay. Um, Tyrannus' bullywug is going to attack you, uh, but he's going to miss. So, um, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to dash in order to take double movement. And there's... 10 feet of movement, 20 feet of movement, 30 feet of movement, 40 feet of movement, all 50 feet of movement. 
Okay, he missed you with his attack of opportunity. Cool. Um, all right, Tony. I'm going to recklessly attack the other one. Which equates to a 19. Hits. Uh, 12 slashing, 3 fire. And okay. let's go again. Uh, 15. Misses. And I'm done. Laven, you're up. Poison spray. Uh, it doesn't pass a saving throw. That's 17 poison. Alright. Uh, you guys each get 300 experience points. Yeah, I killed the Lulux. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Follow Tyrannus down the stairs. You said too fast. Deep was the incline here. Sorry, what was that? You said that there's a. This is essentially like a slide. How steep was the incline here? I think he said 10 foot drop. Um, you have to. So, anyone who wants to go down those stairs needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Sure. Nat 20. Nat 1. Five. 16. I got an 8. No. All right, Tony. So. I have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Why do you have advantage on dexterity saving throws? Gnome, or no, it's the barbarian thing, against effects that you can see without being blinded, deafened, or incapacitated. Okay, this yeah, is this is not an effect, though. This is you slipping on mud. Sounds like an effect to me, but yeah, I'll fall down either way. <laughs> All right, you and Tyrannus both wind up at the bottom of the stairs, and you it both take two damage. Oh. You and Hagrid are able to make it down without any issues. It's nice to see that these guys don't have them, you know, gnomes with disabilities act in place. Uh huh. Alright. Nothing um, here? As you guys walk through this room, uh, you hear. Actually, I don't even know what you hear. Like, what sound? What sound do you centipedes make? <laughs> it's kind of like a hissing. That's how big they are. Yeah, if, if they're big. And a hissing sound when they're pissed off. Um, Alright, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and roll for initiative again. Hey. Hey. I got a 24. All right, 20 to 25. 24. 15 to 20. 16. Um, 10 to 15. 13. 12 to 14. 15 to 10. Oh, sorry, you missed my 13. Oh. Okay. I I missed answering. That's okay. Was it because of the text? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, guys. Um, Tony, you're up first. Uh, I don't see anything to attack. Uh, it's because they're small. There's swarms of centipedes. Swarms. I I can't see anything to attack. There's something immediately to your left. Okay. What? Oh, I see. It. Oh, good lord, yes. It's nearly impossible to see. All right, rage and attack. Okay, uh, go ahead and hang on. Let me find the sheet for these. Sorry. 
Can we just light them on fire with a torch? Uh, if you guys had a torch out, they wouldn't even have attacked. Oh. All right, I pull out a torch and light it. Not your turn yet. Uh, I'm... What? What if I choose to rage and bash them with a flaming torch? Do you have one? You use your bonus action to rage. Um, it would take your, your action to pull out a torch and light it. Yeah. I'll just smash it then. Fuck it. Okay, go ahead and roll. Uh, that would be a 18. It's uh, 12 slashing to fire. Okay. Keep in mind, there could be multitudes of these. There are. They're all on the outskirts of the room. They're just nearly impossible to see. All right. Going again. Well, stupid battle. I agree. It is a stupid battle. Um, he is okay. playing up to his intelligence of six. Twenty-five. It's an eight. No, it's just the stupidest spot. Can we just walk past? Uh, fifteen slashing, one fire. Oh yeah, you killed the centipede. I know. Um, alright. Let's see whose turn is it. I'm an experienced Play in. Uh, I'm going to produce a flame. Okay. And see if they bother me. Like, are they going to attack me now? What's that? If I'm just... Like holding the flame like a torch. Uh, you don't notice any change in anything. I mean, they're insects. <laughs> it's not like you can really, you know, uh, discern their demeanor. Okay. Are there any near me? I can't really see. Yeah, there's uh, a set right behind you. All right. Well, I th throw a flame at him. Okay, go ahead and make an attack. With disadvantage, because they're within five feet of you. Ah. Uh, 14. Hits. What do you want it? Uh, eight fire damage. Eight fire damage? Okay, give me just a sec here. Uh, what else do you want to do on your turn? Uh, produce a flame and just sit there. Okay. Uh, Tyrannus, you're up. All right. I am going to use my ability to speak with small animals and uh, just tell them all to leave. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to walk. Okay. Uh, 10, 15, 20. Okie dokie. Um, Hagrid. Thank you. I was like, you didn't have a lead here all the time. What are you talking about? It doesn't make sense. Well, Hagrid, you're up. He is indisposed. No, I'm right here. I'm sorry. Um. I don't know. Okay. I, I just want to go into the other room. I want to okay. ignore these things. Go into another room. Okay. Um, since you're not making an action, you can use a dash action and walk twice your move speed. Or I guess you guys are kind of right up against the edge of what you can see. I should open that up.
All right, uh, no one pulled out a torch, right? I, I'm holding up like that. Uh, uh, Tony had one. Yep, Tony decided that he was going to attack a bunch of. He's going to attack a pile of bugs instead. I I produced a flame at the end and just held it. Okay. All right, yeah, they go away. Yep. Just because I'm tired of dealing with this. <laughs> I'm glad we're all on the same page. <laughs> I feel like we did the most epic thing down here right from the get-go. <laughs> and you're also walking the wrong way. But whatever. The wrong way? Who's walking the wrong way? All of you. How so? Because you took the most interesting thing that wasn't a fight in the cave, and you're like, oh, I can't see, so let's leave. Oh. Like, you guys asked zero fucking questions about the mist. Like, not a single one. We're not done. Yeah. No, but, but it is 6 o'clock, so we are done for the week. So. Mm -hmm. No, I refuse. Yes. Well, I gotta go to work, dude. Nope, yeah. don't we, care. We can come back to it. All right. We shall hold in small room. All right, guys. Uh, well, we'll see you uh, hopefully next week. And hopefully we'll get Crispin back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, yep. Let's yeah. a honeymoon or some shit. Um, no, he said he, he didn't men make any mention of a honeymoon. I When I talked to him, he said that... Uh, he would be available uh, going forward after nope. this weekend. Nope, he's married now. All of his decision-making abilities are gone. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, unless the wife has something to say about that. Mm. Well, considering they were together and living together before, I'm sure nothing is going to change. Yeah. Once you put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, that's it for us this week. Till right. next week. Bye. Adios, y'all.